New season means new seasonal recipes, and now it's easier than ever. With fresh ingredients delivered right to your door, HelloFresh brings the farmer's market to you. Get 16 free meals plus three gifts with code UNFILTERED16 at HelloFresh.com slash UNFILTERED16. Thank you, HelloFresh. We love ya. We've been waiting for this one. I've been waiting for this we one. We have. You want to roll the intro? Yeah. Let's yeah. bust Let's it, baby. It. It's, it's coming time, baby. Woo! All right, this is the part where you dance. You can't really hear this one. Oh, oh, I'm a DJ too. Ow! <laughs> Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I am Matt. I'm Mariah. And we are Unfiltered. Today we have Charlie Jordan. Welcome, Woo! Charlie Jordan. Woo! Thank the, you so much for having me, guys. Thanks for course, coming on. The biggest DJ in the entire world. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, I'm blushing. Thank you. <laughs> I wish. One day. And how long have you been DJing? <laughs> it's been about three and a half years. Wow. Yeah, it's been a little while. Kind of started off as a hobby and then turned into a full time job now. That's amazing. So I wish I wish I could do that. I wish I could be. A it DJ. seems the so fun. Thing. Yeah. No, I'm so lucky. Like I love my job. Like I would still like I just DJ parties for fun. Still like for free. Like I love 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 doing but it. You're not That's only amazing. doing it for fun. You have a residency now in I Vegas. Do have That's a residency insane. Now. That's bananas. <laughs> That's at Zook, right? Yeah, it's at Zook and IU at Resorts World. I play once a month, and that was like a dream come true for me, especially because I'm from Vegas. Right. Oh my hey. God. Were wow. you a self taught DJ, or did you have like a friend who DJed and you were like, show me the ropes? Uh, kind of a mix of both. So I am from Vegas, born and raised. So obviously, there's a lot of DJs there, a lot of nightlife music. And I was making travel videos for like two and a half, three years, and then I started filming after movies for festivals. Like I was getting hired to help cool. produce the movies for festivals. So I was filming these DJs. I was backstage with like production passes filming and I was watching them and I was like, this is the coolest shit I've ever seen Damn. in my entire life. Like filming Zed and Illinium. And I was just like, I gotta learn how to do this. Like I grew such a love for it. So I kind of DM'd the DJs that I had met through doing that. And I was just like, hey, like if you ever have any time, would love to learn. And I used to do a lot of charity work while I was traveling. And I actually, in charity auction, won DJing lessons with Blau. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. that's meant to be. Yeah, like. Oh, my gosh. So crazy. And he's, like, such a smart guy. Like, I don't know if you guys keep up with crypto or NFTs, but he was, like, one of the I first wish. artists to really integrate music into NFTs. So he's a really smart guy. And I met up with him, and he was like, I don't have time to teach you how to DJ. But I'm sponsored by Serato, which is like every pair of turntables that's in a club. They're like the CDJs, like the mixer, the two tables. It's like seven, eight grand. And at the time, I didn't really have that much money. Uh -huh. So he was like, <laughs> you can just have these turntables. And I was like. In exchange for doing the lessons? No, yeah. Like Got he it. couldn't do the lessons. So he was like, just take these. And I was like, are you sure? Like, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Pretty nice. It was really like sick. nothing to him. He was like, yeah, like just so nice and so caring. And he gave me turntables with speakers. Yeah. And I sat in my room for the next year, year and a half and just taught myself how to DJ off Damn. YouTube Damn. and like having my friends show me some stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys know who Nightmare is, but yeah. he showed me how to mix as well. Um, Tyler, he's amazing and so Damn. talented. That's so sick because I know there's a, like a lot of people that like will are what do you consider like ox core DJs or something right. that kind of just have other people make music <laughs> for them. But it's really cool to see someone like you starting from what you're doing and just you made music because you loved it and now you're a fucking DJ and now I you're know, doing I know I feel so grateful and like I, it really is like a dream come true and it's kind of hard to like push that box once you're kind of in the influencer box to jump on right. it. It really yeah. is, yeah. For some reason, there's like a stigma and everybody just wants to kind of hate anybody that branches into music, whether you're like singing or doing like a DJ. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, <laughs> that's really cool that you like broke through and like you have a residency now. Well, because I'm like hyper aware of the fact that influencers get ahead through not the correct means. If right, that makes sense. yeah, exactly. I, like, ab went above and beyond, especially because there's not that many female DJs. Like I didn't want to give anyone a reason or an excuse to be like, she cheated her way here or because she has followers, da, da, da. So people will say that shit, but I really taught myself how to mix. So when people do come to my shows and watch me play, like they can't say anything after. Yeah, right. <laughs> we, we went to the one for after party. I was right there in the front, I remember. I was right there in front of you, like yes, uh, jamming out. It was really so fun. fun. Uh, yeah. what's, your, what's your like headphone style? Are you like a, like a side <laughs> DJ or do you like? That's a good question. I like didn't know how annoying headphones were gonna be until I started DJing. I literally take them on and off the whole time so I can hear everything. Uh. So I'm like, a one ear just like this yeah and then classic. down on my neck back up you gotta hear what ear. it sounds it's like, like to this the whole like repetitive right. like over and over again yeah, yeah. So i'm live mixing the whole time so wow you can hear your next track in your headphones so i'm just 
hearing oh. two or three songs at the same time. Do you, do you ever DJ a party and you're like, damn, I wish I wasn't DJing because you want to go enjoy the party? Absolutely not. Oh, okay, so you, <laughs> you like the position that you're in. No, I feel like I I'm too social. It's, it's, like, it's, it's good, like you're there, there in the middle of the DJ set. No, it's like definitely- it's I a, can't imagine what it feels to do that live and like actually mix because I know how good it feels to be like in a party bus and you just have an ox and you put on a song <laughs> that everybody goes nuts. You're like, yeah, yeah I picked it. And uh, then for it to be a seamless transition on top of it. Yeah, like you're crazy. literally bringing the fun yes and like i weird enough like it doesn't really make any sense but i'm not a big like club goer yeah <laughs> like i'm not like an, a nightlife person and so for me like when i go it's really nice having that space and like mm -hmm. not having a million people touching me all the time yeah. so i really like to have that little dj booth area with all my friends and to play music because uh -huh. i don't really like drinking like that either so to literally just go up there and be able to give a vibe is awesome that's good <laughs> so yeah, i'd be I bad if i was a dj i'd be just Imagine has just drunk. Has nobody I ever mean. has nobody ever accidentally like knocked a drink over and like oh, killed sure. your whole setup? For I sure. think about that all. It wait, cuts huh? it out like the music. People have literally reached onto my turntables to press buttons. <gasps> Shut People have up. grabbed the mic from me. Drunk girls are like when I don't acknowledge people because I'm mixing, they get mad and they like try to like, oh, oh. like the phones thing, you know how people. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, like, yeah. yeah, that's my favorite shit ever. Requesting like, just, songs. The whole show, I'm just reading. Yeah, they're requesting songs or like they think I don't see it. So they like work their way to the front. Oh, what just oh. happened? Yo, you good? <laughs> oh my. Wait, what the heck? Yeah, there, <laughs> There's a loud crash. It sounded like the house just fell in the kitchen. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan slips on his cowboy boots. Just fucking, oh my god! <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, he just has to wear uh, cowboy boots now every day for work. Yeah, so he's probably I, uh, slipping around in there. It's his new work uniform, so he's getting adjusted. Sorry about that. I love that. the fit so much. <laughs> but you guys will have to come to a show out in Vegas. Absolutely, hundred yeah, percent. Really I already went to one, but I'll definitely go again. Yes, please. It was, it was so good. And your residency is for a year, right? That's how they work. I had it for two years. So oh, sick. All year nice. this past year and all year this year. And you wow. get to stay at the hotel and everything. They like yes. house you up. That's yeah, it's great. It's literally like the hangover movie. Like every time, like I get a really nice suite and friends and like have you ever table bottles. Like it really is a crazy setup. If the first five months I was DJing, I had a really hard time not drinking every mm. single set. Like I did. That'd be awesome. And dude, yeah. you don't understand. Like you just can't be doing that. Like I would play a set and then have a show, like two shows in one day. Uh -huh. And say like you're playing in the afternoon and you get hammered and then you have a show and seven, six hours. How yep. are you gonna get up and play and be okay? And like for me, I struggle with <laughs> depression. So like alcohol makes me like not feel great. Yeah. Uh, Especially yeah. when you go through the hangover process, like awake the whole time, mm -hmm. you know? Like when you're literally right. becoming hungover and sober throughout the day. And so by the yeah. time I get there, I would be freaking out or like feel like I couldn't get up there. So after a while, like it's almost become like a sport for me to see how many like shows healthily I can play. Like it's, it's, it's a lot. Right, Traveling man. and waking up early and yeah. not sleeping yeah. and going from show to show to show. Do you get to see your family when you're out there? Barely. Oh, <laughs> man. How far are they from the strip? Like 15 minutes, but you know, my grandma actually comes out to every single oh one. Oh my that's God. Awesome. Really? Is she oh right behind God. you? She gets lit. I'm like, yes, oh, that's grandma. Awesome. What's her name? Vanna. Oh, Vanna. Vanna. Got grandma Vanna. <laughs> <laughs> she's, Vanna, that, she's kinda, got the earplugs and she's vibing. Oh, she awesome. should be your like your uh your what hype, do you call, hype woman. You're a hype woman. Yeah. yeah, you always bring your grandma and she's just decked out of uh, like fucking bejeweled and shit. That yeah, is, like, guys, like I feel so bad bringing my family to these <laughs> shows because not not bad, but like you know it's like okay, grandma's over here, like mom's over here, and then over here we got like. Bryce Hall and like, <laughs> <laughs> like that clashing of those two worlds is very interesting. Right. And my grandma's like, what is going on? Yeah, you got to keep and it I'm separate. Like, it's fine. Seeing the atmosphere. That's true. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm playing music. <laughs> so I know, I know your, your, some of your family's Mormon, right? Is your grandma Mormon too? Yes, but she's like very chill. She's um, not like a regular Mormon. She's a cool, she's Mormon. a cool Mormon. <laughs> my whole family's Mormon, but they've, over the years, we come around to and been way more accepting of what I do. Got it. And how was like how was it how was it that growing up living in that lifestyle? Actually, I, I feel like it taught me a lot of morals and like it's a pretty strict, intense religion. Yeah. Um, there are some rules like the nitpick things of like oh you can't drink coffee, you can't show your shoulders, you can't show your knees. I didn't um, know the coffee one. No wow. Coffee. Why is that? Why, uh, Anything that's slightly addictive is frowned upon. So like Whoa, interesting. Okay. Except sodies, right? But you can have soda. <laughs> Not, no, like you can't drink Coke. That's why there's that joke that every Mormon's addicted to, to uh, Diet Coke. 
That's like everyone crazy. in Utah drinks Diet Coke. Wow. Remember, when we, remember when yeah. we went to Utah, there was no soda? They also have like these stores that are like soda shops though. And That's, my buddy oh, who right, was Mormon, right. would, he's like, no, everybody, they don't go to bars. They go to like the soda shop and you like mix sodas all night. So I guess you're allowed you to have soda yes. a little bit. No, but like, that's like the crazy. No, but that's like their crazy or, shit. Like, there's, oh. And there's also like loopholes too. He was telling me about like energy drinks. <laughs> He was like, I can drink Monster, yeah. but I can't have coffee. I'm like, that's so that's interesting. So crazy. But that's where that religion gets weird. He's just like, who's making these rules? And who's like saying that like, like that's not, you shouldn't be drinking Monster. You shouldn't be drinking Red Bull. But like everyone tries to skirt the lines of the rules because right. it's so many things you can't do. Yeah. So even like no sex before marriage, like there's all these weird stigmas around like how that's how <laughs> i feel about religion like, too do it just like doesn't make sense anal instead of having sex because it's not <laughs> the loophole. Sex. yeah and I'm like, <laughs> Loop I'm like that's even worse that's what oh, i that's think that's worse, worse too <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't on my butt, brother. that's crazy <laughs> come on or like okay it's like oh you can't do drugs like hard drugs but taking xanax and adderall is fine because it's prescription and like i'm gonna go steal my grandma's perks and show up to school on those like that's way worse oh, than smoking man. weed you know oh, but, wow. but like weed is so frowned upon so there's just some things that in that religion I don't think apply to like modern society like now. Yeah, <laughs> and no, right. Like, sure. like a lot of new things have definitely come out since. Yeah, I feel like it's religion for the most part. I just have like my own like practice or relationship with God. I don't really believe in organized religion. Yeah. Especially just because that was like the most intense version I could have grown up in right. that in. Yeah. I compare it to like the Muslim religion. It's very yeah. like, similar. Mm -hmm. I grew up, I grew up with uh, my dad and all side who is all Muslim and it was like very, very, very strict. But I really I totally value relate like, with you. the moral code that they have. It taught me a lot of discipline. Yeah. Everyone who's Mormon is super charity oriented. Like every Wednesday and Sunday I was at an old folks home, like talking to old people for hours, taking care of them, cooking for people. So it taught me to be very generous. But as I got older, I just feel like being like a young person in that religion is mm -hmm. not sustainable <laughs> yeah do you have any of like uh mormon followers who are like in a similar position as you were in who reach out to you for guidance or anything like that a lot yeah like a lot because awesome. i used to be that was like my whole thing because i was like having this whole realization so i would talk about it a lot and everyone like so many mormons it was either like pretty much everyone that i grew up with cut me out which was which was a really intense experience for me to step away from everything that i'd been raised with mm-hmm and leave all my, my family and friends and everyone. And not only that, like I didn't want to leave them. I was just choosing a different path, but they like unfollowed me or blocked me right. simply because I was wearing a bikini. Oh. Well, <laughs> what was like the, like the turning point? For me, I had just signed a D1 scholarship to run track and field here at Cal State. And I you know, had this whole plan. It was like, okay, I'm gonna go be an attorney. I'm gonna run track. I'm gonna do this whole path that's been laid out for me. Um, and I was just doing social media for fun, but I started having panic attacks like crazy after I signed my scholarship and I didn't really know why. Um, my parents had told me like, hey, we're not gonna be able to afford college. So I was like, I have to do this. Like it yeah. didn't feel like an option to me. And I was like, wow, I'm really not happy doing any of this. Yeah. <laughs> so I decommitted and told everyone that I was gonna do social media. And I get it, how that sounds <laughs> fucking crazy. Yeah. I yeah. totally get it. Like looking back now, if I was a parent, I'd be like, what are you talking about? Like, you wanna go be a model? Okay, like have have fun with that. So, but they didn't handle it very well. I got, I ended up getting kicked out of my house um, before I graduated high school my senior year and barely graduated, literally walked to graduation by myself my senior year. Oh, damn. I man. know, and then after that, got super plastered and I was like- There you yeah. 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 that's my girl. <laughs> I was like, we're gonna have a good night. And then after that, you know, that night ended terribly as well. And I was just kind of like, what am I doing? I was like, I'm sad, whatever. And so the only thing I had after that was a car and my phone. And I started traveling as much as I could and taking pictures. Like I would just drive, I was in Utah. So I would drive to like Arches National Park yeah. and the canyons up there. And I started taking, Beautiful. Just taking pictures, like travel pictures. Were you, were you doing like travel videos too? Mm -hmm. Awesome. And you were alone doing all this? Um, I would just meet up with people. This was back when like people, were, there weren't that many people doing social media. So like I could DM anyone and it was like, hey, let's link up and go here and collab. And it wasn't like a weird thing. You didn't have to be scared. It was right. it was just really fun. So many new creators and photographers. Damn, so. so this was all so natural for you. Like this, like you really just really attempted everything. You're on a journey and that's how you got here, which is like so cool that like it happened so authentically. It was wild because I was actually homeless when I was posting most of these pictures. Like I didn't have anywhere to go. You were living so out of your car? Living out of my car, couch wow. hopping. And I had like a hundred thousand followers on Instagram <clears throat> and I 
got enough. That was like enough for someone to be like, hey, we want to fly you out here. I literally was flying to like Turks and Caicos and doing modeling shoots for like eco-friendly companies like Tentry and like all these like Pure Vita bracelets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was like forever ago. And then I would come home, like I was posting these pictures in these beautiful places and everyone was like, wow. And then I would come home and literally not even have a bed to sleep in. Damn. So everyone oh. saw this like life that I was living, but it wasn't my reality. And then at some point, it did become my reality, like my full-time life. And I was like, wow, this is really crazy. So I have a lot of appreciation for what I do. Like I love posting. I love social media, like it, or not social media, sorry. I loved Instagram, how it was. I love the creative side of the platform. Yeah. What it's turned into now as social media is. Different. Yeah, that's yeah. most most platforms. Yeah, it's, it's not, it, not everything yeah. just turns into a shopping platform. Yeah, yeah just everything. a giant store. It's yeah, crazy everywhere. now. Like, it's like, oh, you know, this person is like, no, <laughs> it's so oversaturated. And like, it's still fun. I just feel like it's not as connected as it used to be. Yeah, I totally agree with you on that. What He's, events were you doing in track and field? I'm just so curious about that. I did hurdles and sprints. Oh, um, wow. I never thought I'd be able to use that skill. ever. <laughs> like, no one's ever like, hey, let's go run track. Like, no one wants to go sprint. Or yeah. Like, and, and you practice. actually enjoyed it, right? Like, that's like. Because you remember you were going to college for it, but you didn't really want to do it. But did you actually enjoy it or were you just good at it? I was just really good at it. Yeah. I think I mostly got tired of grown men yelling at me for like seven hours a day. Because <laughs> yeah. I was Faster. Uh, number six in the United States. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. In running. That was a good time. Yeah. Or for the my, hurdles events. For my age. Yes. For hurdles. and uh, Not sprints, but just hurdles. How many yeah. meters? 100 meter hur hurdles and 300 meter hurdles. Wow. And then four by four and 100 meter dash. Right, I gonna, was always so scared. To, I was so scared to jump over it. <laughs> oh, I, I, I can't do the up and over like my back leg. I get, I get terrified. It still doesn't make sense how people do it. Like I'm like, yeah, huh? How did they, it happens just so fast how people yeah. just jump over it, but no way I could. I don't know I why I was good at it. I just it was so random. It's such a random thing. Cause I played soccer for ten years and I just did track for fun. And they're like, Oh, you just set the record for our school. I was like, that was the <laughs> first time I ran that event. Like, what are you talking about? Because I played center mid in soccer, which is a lot of running. So I did that my whole life and then I just jumped in there. I only did track for three years and I got a full ride from it. Wow. I was Damn. like, all right, <laughs> sounds you should, good. You should, I mean, you obviously don't do it anymore, but like you're still good at it. You should like get with like Nike or something and do this whole thing where you like. That was my whole plan for so long. I was like, I'm going to do sports modeling and this and this, but it just ended up, I literally got here and I was shredded. I like had been lifting like heavy weights for four years. Every single modeling agency that I met with, Wilhelmina, Ford, Next, they're like, you're too muscular. You need to lose weight. How, how are you too muscular to be That's a model? Crazy. That's insane. And a year later, when I got a bunch of followers, they were all like, hey. And then the muscles were okay. I was like, oh, yeah. no, it's okay. <laughs> God, this is such a fucking <laughs> horseshit. That's crazy. Yeah, but, uh, you know, like modeling agencies used to think that influencers were like a joke. Like it was like, yeah. we don't. Now that's fuck all they right. want. Right, they weren't taken seriously and now it's. And it's been cool to see even like these, this next generation, like the TikTok kids, like mm -hmm. come in and just fuck shit up. Like <laughs> Olivia, yeah. Ponson and Emma are like, they're like my little sisters and I just love seeing them do even better. Cause like, I feel like TikTok for some reason, like Instagram, there was no really like, seen around it like the paparazzi wasn't like a thing yeah right? yeah like stuff like that but like for some reason mainstream media bled into tiktok so much like the paparazzi and like getting into music and like i feel like instagram was steering away from traditional media and tiktok kind of took it right back yeah. Yeah. yeah i i mean i remember at the time when like all those tiktokers were calling all the paparazzi and shit i remember looking at that and rolling my eyes but i think that was the smartest thing they could have done because those paparazzi shots is what made them traditional so fast, really quickly, I which I never thought would work actually work. Cause I just thought paparazzi was always just like this, like weird thing yeah. that like celebrities hate it. So I was like, if celebrities hate it and TikTokers love it, it's never going to work, but it fucking worked. It, absolutely like a se it was a secret I formula. Think, for I their think success. the algorithm for TikTok really helped too. Just the sheer numbers that people were getting yeah, like absurd. views, like it, it doesn't make any sense. So I think them seeing that like, you got 50 million views on this. Like that is insane. Yeah. And they're so like, I think real that really helped. They're like yeah. real views. Yeah. It, it, they're, the real eyes are seeing that. Have insane. you guys gotten into TikTok? Like, would you say that you enjoy using that? Oh yeah, I love, I think we all love TikTok. I right? consume oh, yeah. more than I 
create on TikTok. Yeah. I need yeah. to get into it more. Uh, you know, I feel like you. I, I've been getting into it. I need yeah. to have like more play dates with myself. Just sometimes oh, just the editing. Create. Like yeah. I'm like, there are so many tools here, and I never feel like I'm doing it right. Yeah, yeah. and I always feel like I'm late to trends. Like a trend, like I'm like they I'll see a trend. Up. I'm like, oh, I want to do this, and but it's already three weeks late, and I'm just like, fuck. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to keep trying. <laughs> That's a really big thing on TikTok. It was really hard for me to wrap my head around the concept that people enjoyed seeing everyone do the exact same thing. Yeah. That was so hard coming from Instagram, right? Where it's like, or YouTube where it's Trying like- Trying to be as creative and original as possible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, really like on bizarre. Instagram, you wouldn't post the same outfit twice, but TikTok, you could do the same dance seven times and it'll still blow up. Like imagine- Every single time. Like Imagine like a million people posting the same pose on Instagram, <laughs> like same background. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and it was like a trending pose that everybody- was Honestly, doing. that'd be pretty funny. I think I they, guess should, that bring, was they like, should bring that. I guess that's like that? Wait, we should, planking. Yeah, we should experience I met everyone tomorrow. Same pose. Same. Like a T, like a, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> a T pod. I was like, what the hell are they But doing? it's a carousel. And he's yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it gets lower and lower. <laughs> we should do That's it. That's genius. I love that. And just don't address it. <laughs> and like people, even the same outfits, like there's like trending pants on TikTok. And yeah. Like trending, like, and what people if we're, love it. You guys have to, we all have to wear like the same dress in the pose. And be like, <laughs> <laughs> that would be insane. <laughs> Oh, now, when you're just driving around, like listening, you know, to music by yourself, are you only listening to house music or are you searching through all different types of genres to like get inspiration from? I like all types of music. Oh yeah. What's your like guiltiest pleasure of what you like to slap in your car? I really love heavy trap and like rap music. Oh, <laughs> nice. I would have never guessed that. I would. <laughs> so my sets are actually a mix of house and trap music. I start off with house and then I end with trap. And some Mormon hymns sprinkled on the <laughs> <Absolutely. laughs> Imagine. It's I a little would, detail. I would get struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> on, during your set. <laughs> yeah. I can see your grandma getting down with it in the back though. Grandma. Not too much though. Yeah. No, no, no. She's respectful. Yeah. Respectful, you know, reserved, but exactly. she's having a good time. <laughs> you see, like one hand up. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, she's praying. No praying, she's for, like, yeah. praying for you. <laughs> <laughs> she's literally like, "Lord, help this girl." <laughs> As I'm taking shots, I'm like, "Look, looking at me." Like, Sorry, That's, I oh, would man. never want like my dad at like if I was a DJ, I could never have my dad at a cell like that. Or like even like some of the crazy videos you film. Like imagine you're family's just standing there watching you do it. No way. <laughs> yeah, it would be like having our parents sitting in the corner right here just watching us. Yeah. Oh my God. I, it would be the most I would. I would just thing. be so conscious of it the entire time. That's more pressure than anything. I'm always yeah. looking back, I'm like, are they okay? Like, is anyone harassing them? <laughs> is anyone offering them shots? Like, what's yeah. going on? We did have our moms on here though, but yeah. they were drunk, so it was like a really good time. That was yeah. probably so fun. Yeah, they just, every, like they forgot the cameras were in here and it, like, it just felt good. You're just learning some things you didn't know before. You're like, okay. Mm -hmm. No, I definitely learned something. <laughs> For sure. What's yeah. your mom's name? My mom's name? Yeah. Sherry. Oh my God, I was literally gonna say Sharon. I was gonna be like, okay, Sherry. <laughs> we see you. Were you just guessing that it was Sharon? Yeah. Oh wow. It's yeah. Sherry, right? Sherry. Okay, yeah, okay. very close. close. Good job. How quick is your like, what do you call it? Turnaround time? Like if you see something popping off on TikTok, like a sound, are you like, oh, I need to sprinkle this into the set? Do you do that? Um, like I know Dylan Francis, there could be a trend happening in the morning. He'll throw it in and at night he's performing yeah, like yeah. Uh -huh. the, the popular thing that just happened. Or Zed with like Squid Game, the Squid Game song. Yeah, they're yeah. quick. I do that a lot actually. That's I feel so like it fun. just keeps it relevant. Like yeah. Yeah, you anyone have to. who's out, like I said, a lot of people play the same sets, but I change mine every time because I love keeping it current. That's yeah. good. It's probably fun and like a challenge too. You're like, yeah. okay, well, how am I gonna incorporate this in? Vegas is crazy though, because Vegas is like tourism central. So every show I play, I get to play whatever I want. But in Vegas, it's like the hit is like living on a prayer. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> Got to appeal to those uh, tourists, you know? No, literally it's people from outside the country. So they just want to hear like that Something type of familiar. music. But Vegas is definitely the most professional setting I play in. It's really fun. Shout out Vegas. Yes. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, Truebill. Do you know why free trials renew you without your consent? Well, I'll tell you why. It's a business scam out to get you. Don't let greedy corporations pocket your money. Download Truebill to take control of your subscriptions. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. And on average, people save up to $720 a year with Truebill. And because companies make subscriptions so hard to cancel, Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just click your accounts and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions with one tap. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them to cancel un 
unwanted subscriptions. So you don't have to. We talk about this all the time, but I have a bad habit of signing up for like a seven day free trial. And I always forget that it will charge you as soon as it's over. And I've been paying for months on things that I just don't even remember. And Truebill will go in and see everything that you're paying for and cancel it for you. You see, I'm not bad with that. I'm bad with uh, subscribing to something and then I'm like over it after a year, but then I'll forget about it for like, Gotcha. Two years and I'm paying like monthly and I just right. don't see in my statement because I'm like paying for so much stuff, you know, or just, it just, it just adds up. Right. And, and it's it nice just to gets have, buried in like the, just in the bills. Yeah. It's nice to have true bill there to just go through and check everything. And if you want it, sure. Keep it whatever. But if you don't cancel it, it's so easy. Not only has true bill saved us money, but they've saved over 2 million users over a hundred million dollars in savings. So if you want to start saving your money and cancel these unwanted subscriptions, all you got to do is go to truebill.com slash unfiltered guys. Don't fall for their subscription scams are out to get you start canceling today at truebill.com slash unfiltered. And it could save you thousands of dollars a year, even millions truebill.com slash unfiltered baby. It's so simple. Thank you. True bill. We love you. So you're allergic to peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing. You heard, you heard you had a horror story on a on a plane. Oh my god, once. yeah. Oh, I've always had that question. You know how they give out nuts and peanut butter snacks? Yeah. Do they have to know if people are allergic or like dogs? I think they've like, limited. Do they know if somebody's allergic to dogs on the plane? You know? Yeah, I don't know. That's a good one. Like the dog one is a good one because yeah. our people are allergic to that. Is it? Is it if you come in contact and touch it or you have to physically like I ingest physically it? Eat it. Oh, okay. It's not airborne. Thank God. That would be a nightmare. How old were you when you realized there was a problem? I realized I had a problem when I was three. Oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Mommy Mom made you a peanut butter Sammy. Literally that, oh, and I man. ate it, and I had to go to the ER. Isn't um, that terrifying? There is a moment where you have to like realize, <laughs> yeah. Like, and there's only one way to find it. Yeah. Here we go. You could have been backpacking in Yosemite, like <laughs> miles away First from a nut. hospital. Yeah, and I guarantee you, you're gonna try peanuts before you end up being able to backpack Yosemite. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna feed my baby everything as soon as it pops out, <laughs> just so I can get out of the way. Do you like this? Yeah, <laughs> just. <laughs> Or do the needles what, like the doctors do? Do? No. Do, you, do, you have, do you have an EpiPen on you at all times? I should, but I, I keep it at my house. Okay. I think you're and old enough I, now I bring it. Know. I bring it with me. Exactly. That was the problem, especially when I came out to LA because vegan culture is really big out here. Oh, yeah. And all vegan substitutes, like almond cheese, oh, cashew. cashew cheese, yeah. almond Ooh. milk, like everything. That's so scary. any nut. You can't have all of them. All wow. of them. I've never had Reese's peanut butter cups. Or oh my god! Snickers. <laughs> it's I'm so it sorry. Is it is the end of the world. It kind of is. <laughs> but don't make her feel bad. <laughs> no, I will make her feel bad. No, everyone's like, really? They're like, it tastes so good. I'm like, I had no idea. Uh, okay, thank you. How how often do you think about your nut allergy? Like every day. <laughs> every day. Like that has every to be day. kind of annoying. Like I. A lot you know, of things have nuts. When every you go time to I eat food. When Every you go to restaurants, you're like scared. You're like, please don't have anything in this. I have to ask the waiter multiple times. There's been so many times where I've been like, is there nuts in this? They're like, no, bring it out, eat it, almost die. Like I'm wow. on Cooking Abbott. peanut oil. I'm like right. on Abbott Kenny, like sprinting to CVS to get Benadryl because I didn't have an EpiPen. I like am on the floor of the Benadryl, ripping out Benadryl on my knees, like not buying it. I'm just like shoving it down <laughs> my throat. Oh my How many times has that happened where you've had... Close calls? Way too many times. Damn. Actually, going into anaphylactic shock is the most painful experience I've ever had in my life. Like, more than breaking bones. Like, I broke my shin bone. That was pretty bad. But going to anaphylactic shock, like, it's what exactly? Like, what, like, what does it feel like? What is it? So my throat closes, my eyes swell shut, my mouth swells, and all my, like, nervous system is just shuts down. Um, oh. And I start throwing up while my throat is closed. Oh! So it just like goes it's up like, and comes it, down? It, it, no, it like rips through my esophagus. Oh my god! And so I start bleeding. So I'm like, literally, I know this is so gross, like trigger warning, throwing up blood, throwing up vomit, can't see anything, can't breathe. All from a nut. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. How long do you have to get something in your system before it gets like completely Five unbearable minutes. like that? Five minutes. Wow. Five minutes. I'd be scared every day. Oh, grab That's... that EpiPen. Are you <laughs> yeah, kidding you, me? Yeah, I think the EpiPen should be on you on, at all yeah. times. Do you like the smell of nuts? Or is no. <laughs> he goes, are like, you Do you wish to... you could have them? He goes, are you allergic to all nuts? <laughs> <laughs> but like, if you smell it, you're like, oh, that smells yes. good. What is that? It's like, oh, this is... Never. These are nuts. Like that smell smells like poison. traumatic. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a trauma. I don't think, I I don't think that yeah. smells good to her anymore. No, it's so bad. But the only thing that's nuts that smells good is candied almonds. Is that what it is? Okay. Candy oh, oh when you yeah. smell those at, at like an amusement game? park. Oh yeah, yeah. Those yeah. smell really good. Yeah. Do you want to talk about your uh, your scary airline? 
oh, um, yeah. situation? Um, I was flying to South Africa, Uh huh. which is a long ass flight. <laughs> flying from LA to London and then going to South Africa. So the flight to London is like 13 hours and you're flying oh, over the ocean. I'm scared. This is already, no a, this is already a horror <laughs> movie. Horror movie. Horrors. Get on, like how you were asking, you're like, shouldn't they be aware of that? Like, it's literally, I don't know, airlines just don't give a fuck if they are passing out. They don't do it anymore. I haven't seen nuts on an airline for the past year. But the That's first true. three years I was flying, it was like, you could tell them that you had an allergy and they're like, okay, we just won't serve it to you. I'm like, just, I just don't feel like that works. Like, I'm not airborne, but if someone was airborne, how would that even work? Right? It just, yeah. They accidentally, like, there's so many people on a flight, so many flight attendants. I asked her, I was like, they were serving the meals because it's a long flight. And I was like, is there anything in this? Did you guys know that pesto is made out of nuts? Yeah. 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 It's pine pine nuts. nuts. Oh my God. I can't believe you guys knew that because yeah. nobody ever knows well, that. Well, I make it. So I didn't think. I didn't think. Italian. I didn't think. Italian, yeah. I didn't think all pesto was made out of pine nuts. I thought yeah. some pestos were like had pine nuts in it. I feel like recently they started making it without nuts because they were like, like realized like, oh, this is a huge problem. Yeah. <laughs> but they served me a meal with pesto in it. I'm sitting next to two people. I'm by myself, like on this flight with no one that I know. <laughs> Boy. 13 hour flight, I oh eat God. this meal oh and I'm God. like, oh no, I'm like, fuck. Like, this is really bad. Didn't know what to do, didn't have my EpiPen. Didn't have any Benadryl on me. I had no medicine, like nothing to help me. At this time, I, was, I think I was 18, flying to South Africa, so I didn't have enough money to afford an EpiPen, because EpiPens are actually like $1,500. What? what? Why aren't they free? Wait, that, how, they for a, what, a pack of a pack of what? Like, it's like one of them. That is insane. What the fuck? That's so messed up. I don't think they're that expensive anymore, but at the time, Something wow. fucked up happened and there was a major recall on EpiPens because the company producing them started watering down the fluid inside to sell more and they weren't working. That is, How can that is so fucked. So there was like eight kids that died because they used EpiPens that didn't work. So there was a huge oh recall. My God. And there was a shortage of EpiPens. So they were like $1,500 in the United States. I had no insurance. I couldn't get one. On this plane, as I get up to sprint to the bathroom, the whole crew is like, we need you to be seated. There's about to be turbulence. The flight attendant was I'm like, dying. you need to sit down. And I was like, no, I need to go to the bathroom. And she's like, please sit down. And I was like, absolutely not. So I like push past her and I'm like low key sprinting to the back of this airplane. All of a sudden the plane goes, Koo! drops like 10 feet. What? I'm standing, I'm floating. <laughs> like it drops oh it up literally Oh my like, God. While I, your throat's closing. <laughs> what a nightmare. Breathe. I grab a ball guy's head for balance. I was like, here we go. <laughs> Kept sprinting to the back after it leveled out. Closed the door, locked it. And because I knew that all the flight attendants were gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? They were like banging on the door. My throat's closing. I'm like, I'm gonna die. I was like, I'm gonna die. So alone. you went to the bathroom mainly because of the puke, right? Yes. And I was trying to make myself throw up. So I was like shoving my fingers right. down my closing Closed throat. throat. Oh, fuck. And uh, I thought I was gonna die. So I started recording a video in the bath. <laughs> Saying goodbye to and everybody. We no, actually have it right here. No, I fucking wish, that'd be so embarrassing. Uh, but then I was like, maybe I was like, okay. That's I was like, I gotta do something. So I opened the door and I told the flight attendants what was going on and they're like, I already knew this, but they're not legally able to administer any type of medicine. They don't have EpiPens, they don't have anything like that. Like, so they, so they had to call for a doctor on board. They're like, is anyone? <laughs> da, 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 da. Someone had Benadryl, got their Benadryl, took like six of them in like a line and I sh like shoved it down my esophagus, which closed or it relaxed my throat. That's the only thing that it helps with. It stops the swelling. The flight attendants, Okay, have you ever taken like one Benadryl, two Benadryl? I, oh yeah. I don't, I don't know what, it, I forget what it feels like. Oh. It makes you drowsy? <laughs> I don't know, you start seeing spiders. The hat man will come visit. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, the fucking boogie monster. Yeah. You see shit on Benadryl? If you take a ton, yeah. Don't tell Zane that, he's gonna fucking, <laughs> he's gonna see <laughs> CBS tonight. I'm having a visitor oh, tonight. I wanna see the hat man. <laughs> no, you don't. I got allergies. You'll feel like there's bugs crawling all over you. I've looked into oh, like, like what it is like. Uh, the hat Hat man? The hat man. I would say shit just starts to get really wavy. <laughs> well, yeah, and you're on an airplane, so that just sounds really like a bad time. Yeah, I mean, I fall asleep after taking like two minutes in like 30 minutes, so, and I was in a severe amount of pain, so I didn't fall asleep. I took six mm. Benadryl and was awake. They sat me next to the two people. I was like, can I lay down somewhere? 
I was like, this exit row is open. Like this whole exit, like they're like, sorry, like it's illegal to. Do they not understand? Do they have any sympathy towards no. what's happening? Do they not understand you're you're like dying from an allergic reaction? Did they, did they not take you seriously? Is that what it was? Because no, they, I feel like if they knew how serious this is, they would have been like, yes, anything, whatever you need. No, they did. That's the crazy part. They knew. I'm like, this must be something that you deal with on a pretty consistent. This basis. better not been JetBlue. Uh uh-uh. uh. It better- was an international airline. Okay, what was it? It was good. British Airways. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Spirit Airlines. That's some shit they'd pull. They make you pay. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually $20 a Benadryl. Yeah. To use our doctors on site is $100. A fucking- <laughs> Hold on, though. Have you been on Spirit recently? Not no. recently. Last time was like a few years Spirit's ago. Spirit's popping. Oh, wait. Didn't JetBlue buy Spirit's Spirit? Spirit's popping now? No. Like, they fix their shit. I think you- JetBlue bought Spirit. Yeah. Really? Probably. I think, I don't know if it's like, JetBlue. I, I think it is. Spirit Can has like that all new airline. Like really? the planes new planes? Are brand new. Yes, the inside is like beautiful. They no like, way. They were a, lawn chairs with like I little liked bungee it. cords I on the I back. Liked it. That's how it was when I flew. I flew to yeah. Costa Rica on Spirit and I was like, the plan, whole plane was like this the whole time. I was like, okay. When I moved here, I flew on Spirit. It's yeah. awful. It was nice. Uh, I don't know, there's it was a chance me. he'll become a spirit on Spirit. <laughs> yeah. well, Charlie, the seat in front of us was off the plane. Like it wasn't even <laughs> bolted to the to the to the so plane. Bad. That's how it used to be. They're, ju- they're just vintage. The, their, yeah. their first class is just called they're, Big Front they're Seat. Humble, like, and I don't know why looking out the they're window humble. seeing Howdy, it's like they're making fun of you. <laughs> like they know you're having a fucking miserable time. It's like, it's like Howdy. <laughs> hate so spirit. fitting. Um, so they've but upped yeah. it, so, but you still got to pay for everything like water and oxygen and I don't think so anymore. I think it's just like a normal airline now, which is great. Well, I mean, it's good. I mean, it's been years of just harassment. But, but to, their reputation is so shot from how it was before yeah, I'm sure. that it's like these nice ass flights that are really cheap. Frontier. Hmm. Wait. I would recommend. Acquired by Frontier. Wow. Hey, Can you go, go to. For 2.9 billion wait, February Frontier, 7, 2022. Frontier is not that good either. Well, Here, apparently it is. They did a good job cleaning it up. Go to New they Spirit They got 2.9 billion dollars. <laughs> Go to New Spirit Airlines uh, planes. It's fuck. Every seat is JetBlue mint. Yeah. They're all just like, <laughs> it's just a bunch of pods. Yo, like, look, like this is. Just, oh, like, oh. I think this was their plan. I think they became a meme. Oh my, Zane, I thought they were screens on the back. They were just uh, pamphlets. Oh, that's all right. Dude, that's yeah, very like, that's very it's modern. Better. It's, it's better. sleek. I think that was their plan. They said, let's become a meme. Everyone's talking about us, and then we'll turn around. People are going to want to see it for themselves. Flip it on them. They're going to be the next new thing. There you go. They're like Kia. Yo, Everybody Loki, hated uh, Kia. Loki, yeah. just plug Spirit Airlines. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Look at these yellow desks. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I want to see Spirit do the biggest campaign with a ton I of influencers. I thought you were gonna say cannonball. Like, no, just like a like, big like, campaign like, where they fly the all these influencers. Biggest like, cannonball. Stoss on Spirit, like yeah, yeah. that <gasps> Wait, would be that, that would be brilliant. Buckle. Get a bunch of influencer models. Get get Kim Kardashian on a Spirit plane. Boom, done. Are you done. kidding me? That would be hysterical. That would be good. Yeah, that's really good. I think I think that would be worth it for Spirit to do that. Good for them. But how much would Kim have to take to be on a Spirit plane? <laughs> you couldn't catch Kim Kardashian Mm-mm. on a Spirit plane. <laughs> but like what? But there has to be an amount. There has to be. No, a there's cost. always an amount. I feel like maybe there's a we'll price see. for everything. Yeah, there is a price. Absolutely. For everything. A billion dollars. Because look at the planes out. She would look at that and be like, oh, that looks like a li- my like my living room. <laughs> like it, like it looks really nice. My movie room. Yeah. Black, yeah. Black was a power move though. Yeah, it was. Did you see her Architectural Digest house? I haven't. Kim Kardashian's house is insane. Sick. It looks yeah. like a museum. Yeah. It's, it's like the a, hallways are empty. Miss Minimalist. <laughs> yeah. It's a little psychotic. Like, yeah, I'm like, it feels like a psych ward. <laughs> yeah. Very <laughs> Love interesting. Love it. Oh, no, look at it. <laughs> oh, I'm look at that middle it's one. beautiful. It feels like a dream. I just couldn't live there. No, I it's couldn't like a live museum. there. Like, I would be scared I to I would touch love to everything. walk through, but I'm would be like, get me the hell out of here. Those kids probably get lost in there. They probably cry. Every- <laughs> No, Wait, no, did you see the, the before camera. and after? It, they just took out all the decorations. <laughs> like, all the lights. <laughs> they literally just <laughs> fucking took it out. It would be the opposite. Normally it's empty and then they put oh, the shit that in. Is and she goes, it's minimalistic. It's <laughs> Art. Baby. That is funny. That's really That's good. Genius, actually. At least nothing gets broken, right? And it's, I bet it's easy to like clean because like anything that's out of place, it shouldn't but, be there. But yeah, everything's no white. Shit. 
But to her kids, How do you she's have like, four kids? she's like, I swear to God, if you spill on this couch, <laughs> oh, for free. So they have yeah. some sturdy juice cups like in that house, like some spill free. And everything they eat is white, like white chocolate bars, yeah. white candy, her, her like. cauliflower. Yeah. <laughs> her kitchen sink though still doesn't make sense to me. Have you seen it? Oh, oh yeah, no. one. Kim Kardashian uh, uh, kitchen sink. That's so rich. It, it doesn't look. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, it's flat. It's yeah. flat. It's flat, but it has a slight you, slant where it goes down. That screams, I don't do my own dishes. <laughs> Look at that. That screams, I don't no like dishes the, are done I don't like it. <laughs> you, what do you fit, one dish in you there? You don't, you don't. That doesn't make any you sense. You think there's dirty dishes in there no, ever? Come that, on. That's a, that they have a chef You would sink. never they have. have. They can't, you can't clean. I get that for a bathroom when all you're doing is washing your hands. Right. That has zero purpose. It's the minimalistic look. It's dumb. Wait, does that circle like? Yeah, that's that's what the that's water crazy. pours out. It's like a shower it, floor. It just looks funky with like the, the the just like the what do you what do you call the like faucet? The, hose? the faucet. The, it looks who said hose? <laughs> the sink hose. Where? Uh, the hose? Yeah, a hose is what you attach to the side of a house, like the green, the green. So hose? the thing you pull out of your sink, the spigot. Is? No, it's Get, not a okay. spigot. <laughs> What do we call Wait, the, a, a, a fucking oh, yeah, you're right. I don't a know what faucet? Oh, 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 the sprayer. What do you Let's call a detachable name. faucet? faucet oh, I said sprayer. Oh, shit. Wait, n n an exiting faucet. It's a a sprayer. sprayer. They're talking about when you switch the setting to spray, but they're not talking about what the hose is called. Got it. Got it. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a hose. That's it's a, hose, a, it's sure. a sprayer. Yeah. A sprayer, a sprayer hose. hose. It's but a, it's connected it, to a hose. You're right. You're okay. right. Okay. We just weren't thinking of a hose when we were thinking of faucets. You're going to look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? It's a sink hose. I want to do that to my pantry so bad. Look at that. That's a grocery store. Just so organized. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> literally, yeah, that's guy's grocery that, game. That's a Costco. <laughs> that's, no, that's Air One. <laughs> Damn. That's gorgeous. That's a dream. Did you guys know that Air One is, it's close, it's not quite, but it's supposed to be like nowhere spelled backwards. Oh. Again. Hold on. I, I can't write I can't it in my head. I can't even spell it forward. No, they, you're right. So they it is. the W and the H, but it's nowhere. Wait, why? Well, because they switched the W and the H. No, but why? That is some I satanic. Don't there has to be some. <laughs> nope. Oh, that And then I figured out. that out because I was watching the series You, and they had a fake grocery store in it called, um, what was it, Anavrin? Okay. Did you watch the series? No. I did, no. but I don't remember. What that is that backwards? Scene. Uh, Nirvana. Oh, yes. Uh, Anavrin. Nirvana. <laughs> but wow. I was like, oh, is that supposed to be a play? I was like, oh, Anavrin, like, Erewhon. Like, it, it was like a play to make fun of Erewhon. Did you read that somewhere or did you uh, just no, notice just, it I watching? Just figured, <laughs> I just figured. Yeah, my brain didn't see it together. <laughs> I was like, that's super weird. Interesting. And Vons is snob. Whoa. <laughs> and Publix Whoa, is exolub. Exolub. <laughs> <laughs> why are we so good at backwards? No, <laughs> me and all my forward. friends call each other our backwards names. So I think that's why I noticed it. Like my friend DJ I'm would say JD Harem. Mm -hmm. Tam. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy for short. <laughs> Inaz, hi. Inaz, hi. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's oh man, mine's bad. <laughs> Jeez. That is yeah. Nope, I do That's not how claim mine is because I have a like CH that. at the beginning, so mine's like <laughs> Yalark. <laughs> Yours is Yalarch. Well, your name is Char Charlene, right? Charlene. Charlene. Yeah, it's Charlene. <laughs> Charlene. No one knows that though. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like no, most people have no idea that that's my name. So it's perfect. I don't know how you guys found that out. Good job. Charlene Banner? is a very yeah. southern name. <laughs> you, if you say the whole surprised. thing, Charlene Savannah Jordan. Savannah, That's Georgia. My name. Wow. <laughs> it's it's, it's Southern. All my family's from Georgia. Billy Bob love Charlene. <laughs> and, then they, and then they moved to Utah? Uh, no. Vegas. My dad's side is there. Mom's side is in Vegas. Got it. My d whole dad's side of the family is Air Force. So it's crazy. I'm like, don't relate at all. Wow. They're like, go in the cool. Air Force. I'm like, That's sick, but I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Pi a DJ pilot. You could do that. The uh, world's first DJ that would pilot. Be crazy. Yes. For beach parties, you're in a helicopter. Come on. That'd We're hovering right. over the water. You right already have headphones. Down. All right. It's <laughs> right, right, write that, that down. down. I have so many weird places I want to DJ, like non traditional club settings. Like, have you seen uh, like Cascade or anything? They like DJ at the Golden Gate Bridge or like Oh, oh yes. that's Oh, cool. that's yeah. sick. Is that the ultimate dream? What's the ultimate dream? I saw a Cascade DJ at. Over the Grand Canyon, they built out oh, a shit. ledge. Oh, into the, over the wow. oh, and that were they strapped in like? Nope. Nah. Is nope. It, wow, is, that's cool. Is it Cascade Mormon? Yeah. Yeah. So I looked up to Cascade my whole life because I was like, "How are you a DJ 
like playing at ultra for like the biggest crowds ever. And like his wife and three kids are on the side jamming and he's like completely sober. Like he doesn't do anything. Yeah. Um, and that was really impressive to me. I was like, you're around this all the time and you don't do any of it. Um, even though I'm not Mormon anymore, I'm me and Cascade have the same manager. Um, oh, so, cool. yeah. So I got to meet with him and just like, not work with him because I want to earn that position again. Like it's like, oh, just because we know the same people, like that yeah. doesn't mean anything. Um, but it has been really cool to meet him. His name's Ryan Radden and he's one of the most talented DJs, producers ever. That yeah. is cool. I was like, like, that's look into my eyes. Yes, eyes yes. Are the <laughs> and you're definitely open to like any opportunity like, like clouds. That, that is, is unreal. That is really that is unreal. Wow. It looks, it looks like, like a, a green screen. screen. Jinx, you owe me a diet coke. A wedding. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me a ring. <laughs> and yeah, you'll take crazy. any opportunity, like EDC, Ultra, like any festivals like that you'll take, right? Festivals are my dream yeah. goal. So like right now I do club clubs a lot, like club circuit, whatever. Um, but it's my first year and a half, right? So I kind of have to put in that time and then start booking festivals. I just booked Lollapalooza. Whoa. What? Yeah. Oh, that's oh awesome. my God, that's incredible. Yeah, that's so cool. Oh my, we used to go every year. Damn, that's you a, guys that's gotta fucking go. awesome. That's, that's until so like, sick. Oh, when is that? I Lala? think it's soon. June? July 30th. <gasps> oh, Damn. well we gotta go watch her guys, come on. It's in like, I don't even know how that happened. I mean, I, I work my ass off, but I'm just so thankful for that. Cause I remember being at Lala. Have you guys been? Oh yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. Like downtown Chicago. Like I'm like at the Perry stage watching Elenia. I'm watching grown men cry. I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this and is perfect. I was just like, I'll never like, I just could have never imagined that, that was something that I would get to do. And it's like a couple years later. So really crazy. I'm excited. Look at that. That's amazing. I'm just getting it's ready for that right now. It. When's your next one in the city so we can all go to it? Um, The last one I had was a couple months ago, but weirdly enough, I don't play in LA that much. Not you like, can't like get booked at like, I feel like it wouldn't or, be as fun. Uh, yeah. it's Yeah. I mean, yeah, the clubs, here. I know the clubs suck here, but. What about <laughs> no, no. The clubs suck here. Like, yeah. No, I, yeah, I know. Yeah, like, like really I'm bad. like, what the fuck? Like, this is supposed to be like the most lit. You guys yeah, are the no. most lit people here. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, we're only playing hip hop music for some reason. And the DJs are not DJs. I'm like, who is this? No offense to anyone that plays on a laptop. I'm like, who is this dude playing on a laptop? Like, <laughs> yeah. and you, like in DJ world, like playing on a laptop is a very early beginner mm -hmm. phase. And like every club that you go to, like Hyde or Warwick or anything, it's always a laptop. The DJ is not the focus. Everyone just wants to get fucked up, which is cool, but I don't want to play parties like that. Like yeah. I want to play for people that care about music. Yeah. So festivals are like the best. What, <laughs> what's the big one in Switzerland that uh, uh, Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland. That looks oh, insane. That's insane. David oh, is that where it is? Mm -hmm. so he, David sent us a clip of that. It looks insane. It's manic. That's my dream. That's that would, oh, you'll make no. it happen. You'll, you'll get there. And EDC too. I see, uh, EDC. You're, very tomorrow, you're very Tomorrowland. I see it. Have you guys been to EDC? Yes. Yeah, we went once. Oh, oh. it was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> you, can hear the, you can hear the weight in his voice. <laughs> Hell fast. Hell fast. But it was fun, but we were like, this is. Yeah, like you just, after one day, you're like, get me the fuck It's out. like that? Yeah, because you're, you're in the, it's, where is it again? It's like, the it's Las at Vegas the Motor Vegas. Speedway. Yeah, yeah. it's just cement <laughs> everywhere. Because normally festivals, you want to see grass, and you want to see like trees and lights, but that is just, it looks like you're on a tar mat. Concrete jungle. Concrete and the, Jungle. What's the the one in uh, Miami that everybody that's Ultra? Ultra. 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 Oh, that that one is a mess. That, that shit yes. looks rowdy. Did you see? Did you see what happened like two years ago? No. Remember that? No. Remember like a big fire happened, so they they closed down. Like cars couldn't drive through, so everybody had to walk oh, shit. all the way uh, to <laughs> Miami across the bridge. You didn't see oh, that? No, I do it was that actually. Oh, I forgot about that. Wait, what? You don't remember that? Oh, like yeah. venue on fire. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it turned into like a Miami marathon. <laughs> no, it, it, it became like Firefest. Like everybody, oh, had, they couldn't, so nobody long. could catch Ubers or anything like that. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, BetterHelp. If you guys don't know what BetterHelp is, BetterHelp is a customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. People don't always realize that physical symptoms like headaches, teeth grinding, and even digestive issues can be indicators of stress. And let's not forget about the doom scrolling sleeping too little, sleeping too much, and overeating or undereating. I can actually add one more bad habit to that. It's nail biting. I'm really, really bad at it. And that is a huge indicator of stress. So that's right. It could show up in all kinds of ways. And in a world that's telling you do more, sleep less, and grind all the time, you got to just take a second, look back at yourself and think, Maybe I should try some therapy. Exactly. And you know, you guys know me. I've been trying therapy for a little bit now. Therapy is awesome. And it's the best that you don't have to 
go to an office and like meet with somebody you could do it sit in a waiting room that's cold and they make you read old magazines yeah that's the worst so you could do it right in the comfort of your own home um and it's it's just really nice and it's great to talk to somebody who's going to be completely unbiased it's kind of difficult to talk to a friend a family member um it, it, it feels uncomfortable to open up so having somebody especially online makes it that much easier exactly because i don't want to like be talking to heath every day it right it gets boring you know what i mean so if you want to give it a try and see if online therapy is for you and how it can lower your stress all you got to do is go to betterhelp.com and you guys listening right now are going to get 10 percent off your first month that's right that's b-e-t-t-e-r-h-e ELP.com slash Zane and Heath. Again, listeners are going to get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you. I really want to know more about your uh, Smoke Roses company. Oh, Here's yes. Smoke. Yeah, talk about that. Um, we have our high episodes. I have a rose tattoo. Does that count? <laughs> yes. We have high episodes on our Patreon. Yeah. We bring so guests that like to smoke weed. We, we don't smoke weed at all. We only smoke on only our, for those. On our uh, private secret videos on Patreon. But yeah, so how did that start? What sparked the idea? <laughs> For smoke sparked. roses? Mm -hmm. No pun yeah. intended. Um, okay, so I started smoking when I was 18. And obviously, like when you're just in your hometown, you're kind of like, I'll take whatever I can get here. Because you, <laughs> I was living in Utah. Yeah, it's not, not much. Easy to come across. You're like meeting some random dude in a parking lot at Walmart. <laughs> and you're like, hope this is weed. Could be right <laughs> Hope it's not lace. <laughs> Could be oregano. Could be oregano. Um, which obviously no one should have to do that like you shouldn't to get something that's like really not a drug you shouldn't have to like do some back some alley, illegal like shit whatever. yeah exactly and that's why when i moved out here i was like wow like i was so amazed by the dispensaries and how they had everything set up because for me smoking weed stopped my panic attacks which i've never that's good had anything that helped stop them besides that like i've tried i've tried other shit and it just does not work like it has weird side effects so for me, that was like really cool because I then was able to actually consume weed that was like clean and very helpful and functional. I was like functional stoner. Like how yeah. do we make that happen? Cause like, I don't like to sit around. I'm a super active person and there were all these things made and I was like, wow, this is really cool. But the more I got into it, I was like, damn, like a lot of this is actually super commercial and people are just making money off of it. Cause mm -hmm. weed is like super profitable. Yeah. yeah. And so I was like, okay, leaning more towards what I experienced when I was traveling. I saw people smoke so many different types of crazy things from traveling to their world countries because they don't have traditional papers. Like you can't just go uh, to the gas station and fucking pick up some raw rolling papers in the Dominican Republic. Yeah. <laughs> so people are like smoking banana leaves mm -hmm. and lavender and like different like types of flowers. And I was like, this is really cool. And when I came back to California, the only thing that's adopted in the United States is tobacco. So you have backwoods, swishers, like, and it's just a tobacco leaf. So I was kind of like, hmm. It's <laughs> like, can I buy like flower pre-rolls or like whatever? And I researched for four days. I was like, pre-rolled rose petal cones, pre-rolled lavender cones, pre-rolled anything and nothing existed. Wow. That's so sick. And I was like, is this an original like idea? Cause like I definitely had seen people do it, but there was no- There's no way. There I haven't no way looked to hard enough. Buy it. Yeah. So I was like, this is impossible. Like how am I gonna sell? <laughs> rose petals they're so delicate how do you ship them there's like a million problems so over the course of covid essentially yeah. i had this idea and i just spent hours working on it packaging like this has never been made before so i had to cold email like 50 manufacturers and be like hey Here's would you idea. try to make this like and this is the first email you've bit. ever seen from the u.s but I, i'd also be scared too that they would take your idea Absolutely. So, oh, hey, yeah. can you make this? Uh, yeah, we can. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, people do that. No, for real. It actually did happen to us. Oh, um, shit. And it was a huge problem. But here, the problem was that I was like, okay, I'm going to get these patented, but you can't really patent a rose petal. And I tried to do the design as well, and it was just like a very complicated process because it's a cannabis-based product and mm. all these other legalities. So I got it trademarked, and that was like really the best I could do. And then... Yeah, we had someone screw us over, made the samples, sent it to us. I was like, this is amazing. And then they ghosted us and took our idea. Jeez, Whoa. what the fuck? But <laughs> as you guys know, branding is really important. There's a million yeah. products that exist That's and true. the branding is what makes a huge difference. So yes, now there are other people selling the rose cones, but hands down, my brand is still the biggest one. Like there everyone knows it was the first one. Yeah. So people can copy me all they fucking want. I'm like, you like my idea? Damn, that's sick. <laughs> it's flattering. I love that. Um, and it's and it's like like environmental friendly too. It just like especially out here in LA, people always want to Can you can you taste it? 
Like, do you have Not like really. the so aroma it, it, or anything like that? It enhances the taste of the weed. And that was like my whole thing is like clean, functional smoking. I have asthma. So I wanted to make something that didn't have dyes or additives or chemicals. It's all natural. The seal is natural. Um, there's no artificial colors, nothing. Like they're bright red. They're so pretty. And they're really clean. They hold a gram each. Wow. And That's so cool. Wow. We got to get some that. of that. Yeah, we got to yeah. smoke some of that. Dude, I would have brought some, but I didn't think that you guys smoked because I was just going to have you guys come on my Smoke Roses show that I have. So I have a YouTube series where I bring people on and I get them high. Have you seen the Eric Andre you show? Guys, you yeah, guys no, smoke I, a lot, I, though. I, like, too much. We do, like, a couple can hits we, and can we like, like Can we good. fake that we smoke a lot but no, not so smoke as much? No, so it's, like, to whatever limit you want. Like, you can tap out whenever. You Thank you. Oh, well, I mean, that video would be done in 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but, hey, if you want to take it, like, it's so funny. Like, Bryce Hall came on, and yeah. he couldn't make it. Like, he tapped out. But, and, I, but we everyone was just calling him a bitch. So if you're okay being called a bitch, you can come on. But it's kind of, like, who can smoke more type of vibe. Yeah. So you can tap out whenever. I'll still smoke the rest of the episode. <laughs> how much how yeah. much do you smoke like in an episode i don't even know like a whole joint to yourself two oh, yeah two probably two whole joints to myself and you can function rips and then the hot box at the end which is Ooh, like, what? Oh, that's oh, more oh, weed an in one setting than we've done on all of the episodes for our high episodes <laughs> that's like more than i can drink in one night like if i tried really hard like <laughs> that's that's insane i feel like i like train myself for no reason because it helps with my anxiety like i don't get whatever high is like out of your mind. Like it's been a really long time since I've yeah. had that happen. My body and weed is like best friends. I'm like 50% cannabis at this point. I don't really know what's going on, That's all but damn, I can a lot smoke of like, like, that though. like I don't have like a, at some point it's, it stops mattering. Like I can keep smoking and I don't get higher. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Question about the panic attacks. I want to get back to that. Um, do you, um, do you not get panic? panic attacks anymore because you smoke all the time or when you feel like you're having a panic attack, you you smoke and then yeah. it goes away. Yes. So you still get them. It's yes. just, you smoke immediately. Yes. I would okay. love to find like a fucking long-term solution. Yeah. Well, that, that's why I was like, attacks. when I was like, if that's the case, that's pretty crazy. But. Yeah. No, for some people smoking weed causes panic attacks. I'm that's like, me. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> us. <laughs> but it's like, everybody's different, like bodies, chemistry, whatever. Um, and I totally acknowledge that. That's why I made this brand and it was so much fun and made the show and I've had so many amazing guests on it. Um, you guys know like- Oh my Black. God, Ooh. that looks like fucking hell. That, that's my nightmare. <laughs> that hot- That's <laughs> what? And Grizz, Grizz is in there. What the hell is wrong with you, Charlie? Uh, I made that shit too. Yeah, I bet. I, <laughs> where, like, where are you shooting this at? Like, it, like it, or, or guys, that it's is at room 1041. In space, Matt. Can't you see? <laughs> oh we got it. We got to do that. We got to do that. <laughs> I'm in there the whole time like this. It's a once in a lifetime experience. I mean, he, we would want to kill ourselves, but I we got to experience I would be that. high for three days after. But that's the whole point. It's like, you're never going to be that high on camera. So like, have fun. Like, it doesn't Ooh. matter, you know? But you know, Heath, we'll be both really high like that together. So I think that's like, that's, that's, that's okay. And like some people stay in there for like five seconds. Like Tana didn't get in there at all. She twerked around the box. Like she could not, she was like, I'm not getting in there. Wait, it, that's it, crazy. Like when you, when you're in that box, do you really, like, is it really potent? I don't I'm, know if I'm you high saw, looking at it. But it's yeah. a bowl that I attached to an air vac that I put in reverse and it, you light it, it sucks. And it sucks straight weed smoke. So this weed smoke hasn't been in wow. anyone's lungs, so it's straight THC to like the face. Oh my God. You have to wear God. goggles when you go in because it'll burn Jeez. your eyes. Look at Tuan. That's <laughs> insane. Mama wow. Oh my God. How oh thick it is God. coming in. <laughs> you, should, you should get some dollar bills floating in. Yeah. <laughs> the, the hurricane <laughs> grabbed them. Yeah. What? <laughs> to pretend everybody looked at stone and she wasn't even in the box. Are you, are you into sativa, indica, doesn't matter? Hybrids. Hybrid. Yeah. Everyone, fun fact, um, labels don't really mean anything with weed, I feel like. Um, for the most part, when they label it, they like have ten, 10 people sit down and smoke it. And they're like, did that make you more awake or more sleepy? Or like, because oh. so uh, pretty much everything has been crossbred a million times. Like no one can like source back to like an original sativa or an original indica. Like how would you know? So they basically just have people smoke it and then they name it some brandable names. So oh. Name means nothing and- I thought they had like a hybrid I thought it was uh, science. I uh, thought so too. That oh just blew my God. mind. It's That's all, crazy. So it's all based on 10 people or like 20 people that are like smoking this weed and they're like, I feel tired. I'm sure okay, there are a, some brands that like are like, oh no, we go through more intensive or we've tested this and this. I don't believe that's a thing. There are definitely, I just go based on like uh, for me, it's more other side effects. Like 
how hungry it makes me. And I care about like organic weed. So there's a lot of weed that has pesticides gr- put into it mm-hmm. when it's being grown. Oof. I like outdoor organic weed. Important. Oh, wow. But mm. everything from the store, like weed's not supposed to be over 15% THC naturally. When you look at the labels, it's like thirty two percent. So they're they're like oh. breeding it to be like super potent, mm-hmm. and that's when they have like that's why weird shit in it. Tripping out though, everyone's like, "Whoa!" Like this weed's so strong. Like it's not supposed to be like that. They've been genetically engineering it and modifying mm. it to be. Well, crazy. if you have organic weed, then I'd like to try some of that. I got you to, next okay, time. Because oh. <laughs> do you have like a favorite brand company? Or? No, guys, I actually have weed in my car. It's crazy. You said. Next time, because I'm going to get you high after this episode. <laughs> He's like, just kidding. I actually don't smoke. <laughs> no, I don't I don't like to smoke for fun. I, I, I'll i smoke maybe sometimes once in a blue moon to help me sleep, but that's it. We do it for the people. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> only really for Pedro. We really do it for the people, yeah. Yeah, smoking is different for everyone, but it's really changed my life, and yeah. I really, my brand, oh, what I was saying is that I made two brands, so there's Smoke Roses, which was like, you know, it's a pretty niche audience of people that smoke, yeah. very specific. Mm-hmm. And so I wanted to make like a broader, like more general mental health based brand. And I made Beauty and Pain, which is these necklaces. Um, and it's this tattoo on my wrist and it's all just about mental health. And like, I used to struggle with self harm a lot in high school. And I yeah. got this tattoo to remind me cause it's on my wrist to not do it, which, you know, right. only helps so much. But over time when I, got out of that phase of my life. I just wanted to uh, make something that reminded people not to do that. So finding beauty and pain, that's why it's like a rose and a dagger because roses are beautiful. And I feel like you can make the best out of negative situations and learn from it and grow from it and change as a person instead of becoming what happened to you, which is a very common thing that (laughs) happens with everyone, easier said than done. But it just is focused on starting the conversation. Mm -hmm. At least for me, like I said, when I first started social media, I like put all my thoughts and feelings and heart out there and was like, does anyone else struggle with anxiety? Does anyone else struggle with depression? And that was initially why I started using social media because for the first time in my life, I talked about that and other people were like, I deal with that too. And I was like, okay, I'm not crazy. (laughs) Because no one in my family struggled with panic attacks. No one knew how to deal with my mental health. So when I got on there and was like, hey, like, does this, whatever. And people were like, yes. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. I'm not alone. And just knowing even that was enough to help me. So these necklaces, like anyone, it's crazy. Like people that wear the necklaces, like I've seen them at my shows, like walk up to each other and start talking about, oh, my mom's an alcoholic and this is what I deal with. Or I struggle with this addiction. Um, Any form of like pain that people go through, just trying to focus on the positive and being able to talk about it and not acting like it doesn't exist because that happens a lot. Yeah. But I'll have to get you guys some necklaces. Yeah, Yeah, please. (laughs) And some roses. (laughs) Yeah. But both those brands have been so much fun. And at my shows, like people bring the packs and like are just smoking up in my shows. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be a cool feeling. necklaces and the earrings. Yeah, it's, it's Oh, dope. that's so fun. But everything I do is like super just about, it, it's all like vertically integrated. Like I love business too. Like it's been really cool with social media, YouTube, the two companies and DJing. All of super different areas. It really like is. Um, to be able to do all of those and have them still all work together is mm-hmm. really, really cool. And it's all the Feeding same each message, other. like across the board. Yeah. People out here, I love just how creative everything is and being able to like put my visuals from my brand or the logos and everything into my visuals for my set and have beauty and pain. Like I get to record voiceovers for like my intros for my set. So it's like this dramatic, like uh-huh. whatever. And I just love um, being able to make people feel stuff. I feel like that's the whole point. That's important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fucking so much fun. That is really cool. Do you guys have, have you started? I feel like every person I know has a brand at this point. You guys have a brand. Yes, we have. Yes. A, Thank you for asking. A coffee. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Yeah. We have a coffee company named Cromoda. Yeah. Are you a big coffee drinker? K cups. I right love here. coffee. Oh, I'll have to try we'll it. get you a bunch. We got a Sorry, bunch. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we Is started it it like, like two uh, years black ago. coffee, like different flavors, like what's just beans. Yeah, cups. so we have we have ground coffee, and then we also have K cups. Uh, so there's different flavors. We've got like a Tahitian vanilla, cinnamon French oh. toast. So we got a house blend. Night. We'll we'll get you some coffee after this. Yes, yeah, please. We'll get you a box. That would be great. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, Seat Geek. Live events are back, which means you can get twenty. 
$20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code UNFILTERED. And if you don't know what SeatGeek is, it is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. We got the app on our phone. Zane, show it to him. Come on, baby. You don't have to ask me twice. And it is by far the easiest and best way to buy tickets. With so many amazing concerts and festivals happening right now, you're not going to want to miss out. We're talking The weekend, Billie Eilish, Justin Bieber, Bad Bunny, Tame Impala, and so much more. We're actually going to Stagecoach in That's the next right. 15 minutes. We got to yeah. have a long drive out there. <laughs> so if you want to go to Stagecoach with us, all you got to do is go to SeatGeek and get your tickets. SeatGeek wants to make sure that you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, make sure you're looking for green dots. Green means good deals and red means bad bad deals. And don't worry, everybody listening right now, we've got the hookup for you. All you got to do is use code unfiltered for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Again, that's $20 off your first purchase with promo code unfiltered. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Thank you so much, SeatGeek. We love you very, very much. And so does everybody else. I'm back. <laughs> we were just, I was just saying like, did you, did you ever like go out to eat with your family? Zane's like, no, <laughs> <laughs> never, <laughs> or, never. Or go somewhere. And like, before you left you at one point, you had to go see what the bathroom looked like. You didn't have to go just like curious what it looked like. Oh no, like. I just went because I would be anxious at the table. So I'd have to go to the bathroom, but, oh. I, would, I, but I, but I also like to go to the bathroom. Like we used to just go and just be like, nice. <laughs> just walk out. Cause some yeah. bathrooms are really cool. Like, yeah, like a lot of restaurants, they have like hidden, like, Awesome bathrooms. Like yeah. the whole restaurant would be like weird, and then the bathroom. Is just I remember. Sick. I remember we went one. Uh, we went one place, and we both went to the bathrooms. Uh, <laughs> and we get out, and she was like, "How crazy was that sink?" <laughs> and I was like, oh "It was crazy." She was like, "How did it turn on?" And I was like, <laughs> oh, she was like, you didn't fucking wash your hands." But apparently, it turned on in some crazy way, and I was just like, "Yeah, it was a." Weird thing, huh? <laughs> I Damn. tried to play it off. It Did you do it on purpose, or were you ones. genuinely asking him? I was genuinely asking, and then he wasn't answering. I said, "How cool was that sink?" He answered in a bland way when it turned on by touch. It was like, like that was just becoming popular, where you just touch the top of it. Uh -huh. And I was like, "How did it turn on?" Because he said, "Yeah, they were crazy." Like I, I just know what he lied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a crazy. That one. is the first word. That's crazy. That yeah, crazy. crazy. Yeah. No, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe it. Oh, that's it. sick. Have you guys been to the Madonna Inn? No, no. I've never haven't heard been. Of that. I've oh. heard about that place. It's Where in San it? Luis Obispo. It's like Where that. Is that? Uh, it's like north of Santa Barbara and like solving and stuff. Well, what's <gasps> they have? Gorgeous. It's it's pretty awesome. Patricia oh and I, God. we went there for Valentine's Day uh, last year. But look up the urinal, the men's urinal. Just look up the <laughs> Donnie in urinal. Wait, is it with the mouth, like the lips? Dude, it's a waterfall. Oh, that's Wait, what? Nice. Oh, my. oh, I would take a what? bath in you, that. Like, you go Wait, up. You, it's like a shower without walls. Oh, Correct. Wow. Like you go, you stand behind that little white line, and That's then you crazy. pee. But there's water pouring down the entire time. It's wow. kind of Diluting. disgustingly tacky, but um, very memorable. <laughs> like you will never that forget. Is Do weird. we all have bathrooms that we need to show right now? Look up sexy fish bathroom. Nice. Here we go. Sexy fish bathroom. Oh, wait. Oh, sexy fish is a restaurant, right Yo. in Miami. Oh, Whoa. oh my god. What? Oh my god. That's cool. Okay. The oh, men's bathroom wow. is blue and the Wait, women's is pink. These and are the bathrooms I want to see. Yeah, That's this, really nice. Type in world's crazy. coolest bathrooms. World's <laughs> coolest public bathrooms. Top 10. Have you ever used a trough? No. Never like, heard of what, it. What, like the, I, like the ice? Where like, it, like it, an old school It's kinda. like the metal oh, thing. It's yeah. just Yeah, one yeah they have it a lot yeah. of bars. Yeah. Like, right. <laughs> Guys, what was that What was that bathroom? It was like a restaurant in Hollywood where you'd look in the mirror and then a face will pop up. Remember that? That kind of sounds drunk. familiar. You, yeah, you just said yeah. No, no, I swear. Mary three times. No, I swear. I, it, was, it was like an Asian restaurant and you were just like, you're washing your hands and then a face will appear. It was it, that the scariest thing. That would scare the shit thing. out of me. I don't know why they would have that in there it's just like a scary thing to put in the bathroom for, oh for have this. you been to the one at uh sketch this one oh. I, I i peed here wait, that's uh, <laughs> i peed here wait that's a flex matt that's yeah cool. i have i have peed wait that's in a, one of those charlie pods. you should dj there that's absolutely cool. i would dj there <laughs> in a urine that's, people are just coming to piss <laughs> Wait, old, toilet, old toilet pods. Oh, whoa. I didn't know it was wow. that big. Yeah. Oh, those are big. Yeah. That seems like something you dreamt about. Like, I had the weirdest dream. <laughs> it's, hard to in a pod. it's hard to tell when they're occupied, though. You're like, <laughs> is anybody <laughs> <in here?"> <laughs> <laughs> dum, dum, dum. If you guys are crazy oh. about bathrooms, do you have you ever, like, when's the last time you drove to Vegas? <laughs> I thought she was about to ask when was the last time you used uh, it. <laughs> when's the last time? When's the last time you drove to oh, Vegas? We, Not oh, that long ago. We drove, we did like the crazy pit stop from Vegas and they had like the largest Chevron they had. Yeah, like the big gas station that had like 120 Yeah, we did a bunch of pit crazy. stops. 
But what's, is there what's a bathroom we're missing? Yes. What? So I don't remember the name of the place, but you know when you're driving like almost to Vegas and to the right, there's like this pit stop and it's some crazy name and it's a random gas station, but the urinals in this gas station, it's a game. So what? you're pissing. You can't piss yet. <laughs> and you have to hit targets while Shut you're pissing. Up. I'm not even what? kidding. What? Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. It's, it's <laughs> Vegas gas station game urinal. It'll come up. I love the first thing that Devin types in Google. <laughs> <laughs> go up, go up, go up, go up. Right there, second, second picture. One. Yep, it's that one. What? what? This is like the top golf of urinals. Pretty much. Wow. Eddie World. It's Eddie World. Oh, Eddie World. <laughs> Wait, we went Eddie there World, with the giant Ed, ice cream. Eddie World yeah. urinals. Pee. Eddie World. Yep. It has the, the giant Eddie ice World cream out yep. front. Oh, we didn't freaking go in. I should have peed. <laughs> Wait, what's the oh. urinals look like? I don't, like, what's the... It's literally a screen it. and you play the games. The screen is it's below screen it. The top. Oh, oh, we did stop. That's where we saw Susie and, and Joe. Yeah. We what ran into them. What were you doing in the boys' bathroom? Why do you want to know? One of my friends just went in and he came out and his face, he was like, his whole life was changed. He was like, <laughs> was your bathroom like that? <laughs> and I was like, what are you talking yeah, for the girls about? That, for the girls that's sitting down, you have to maneuver. They, there's a, there's one of those, those funnels at Whoa. all of them. Oh, no, Jesus no, no. Christ. Yeah, that's the oh. mouse one I'm talking about. Wait, I like that. The, the I really, yeah, oh, that's, that one's yeah. cool. That's nice. I'm getting ideas. Those are very I know, close. I just got a new house. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> shopping right now. You remember the um, place we stayed at where the whole oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, look at the the bottom right oh. with the handlebars. <laughs> Bubba, you remember the place we stayed at where the bathroom was upside down? Yes, that was. It in, had a toilet that on was the in, roof. A uh, big bear, right? Somewhere close to big bear. The the. But Badu, what's it called? Badu. 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 That's a dating app. <laughs> Badu. It was upside. It was on the ceiling. And that's so what the that shower was. So that bathroom is like for going pee when you're hard. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Just straight up. I really like that segment of this whole yeah. thing. We have a lot of segments. Right? That was my favorite. <laughs> Little things excite us. <laughs> what else we got? We like to uh, we like to uh, ask uh, girl guesses. This is a fun question. Girl guesses. Girl <laughs> guess. Girl guess. But um. Have you ever been on like a nightmare um, branded trip? Has like a brand everyone. influencer trip? No, has never happened. Yeah, it definitely has. I wouldn't say, okay, like nightmare trips, not so much, but just like shit going on where you're like, wow, like that's crazy. Like not any, I've, I've never been put in bad situations, but specifically, I'm not going to say the brand, but a specific brand on every single trip, like a huge brand, like very well known, just would have individuals like f that worked for the company bring drugs on these trips. And so like very successful models, like, <laughs> like Victoria's <laughs> Secret models. Like I'm uh -huh. literally watching <gasps> You're them, really like, narrowing it down here. There's a lot of different brand trips I've been on and on this specific one, people were just so out of their minds and it's like, we're going to foreign countries. Like I'm like aware of shit and everyone's just so out of it. Like literally watching girls like step on broken glass oh. and like just so like some of these trips are just like not, I don't know. Like they get paid so much money to go out there and like make content. I'm like off to the side, like filming. They're not even making content. They're just and fucking they're just fucked up the whole time, which is so oh, fun. Man. I'm like, that's, you know, great for you too. I'm like, great. That's not what I came here to do. I'm like, I'll and go do that with my friends. Right. On like a vacation. Yeah. But when you're in like a work trip and like, there's like people around and you're just like, fuck it, whatever. I don't know. It was just And the people a lot. working the trip brought the drugs for all the people? Yeah. Wow. Like yeah, it I mean, was like, okay, we want the girls to have a good time. Like and there's been a lot of situations that I've been like that in. Like I I haven't talked about it too much, but the nightmare stuff is like always just drugs, alcohol, or like weird dudes. Yeah. You know? But that's like a nightmare on like a daily basis yeah. out here. <laughs> 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 I'm like, Oh, that's a Tuesday night. Just going to yeah, just going to a bar yeah, down the street. Yeah, you can go anywhere for that. But uh, it was just crazy to me. It was still happening on the trips. I was like, okay, like you handpicked all these girls and are like paying a shit ton of money for like these beautiful locations and like people are still just doing the same shit. I was like, yo, it's all the shit you don't see behind the pictures, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Scary. hey, I did wake up on the beach in Tulum by myself once. Oh. That was oh. That's that scary. wasn't, was it a brand trip? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. I just got really drunk, woke up by myself. And they I left was you like, alone? No, I don't know how I got by myself. That's why I was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> why am I by myself right now? Like anything could it's have like happened. It's like the prettiest place to wake up though. <laughs> no, it, was it really great. is. Luckily I wasn't super far from where I was staying. It was like down the right beach there. to the right. But when I woke up, I had no idea where I was. I was like, there's still, there's a lot of creeps that like to walk on yeah. the beach Dude, it's at night. Tulum, like Mexico. Yeah. Like, oh my. I'm like, 
not, but the, I didn't know that the tequila there is like pure agave. Like it's way different than the tequila here. It's stronger there. So I was drinking it out the bottle. Like, careful. Oh, we should go to Yeah, we should go to, go to Mexico. That'd be fun. <laughs> and apparently, there, there, people were commenting when we just went that they have a different tequila, like you're saying, but it's it's not clean. There's something like that, like it Probably fucks not. you up. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's like unfiltered. It, yeah, like <laughs> he got like a it messes like a, a raging me- it messes a lot of people up. Hospital. Really? Wait, yeah. you went to the hospital? It's a long story. So, I, we tell the whole story. No, no, don't say the whole so, story because people uh, heard it. Yeah, it was, it was bad. It was not a fun trip. Dang. Yeah, no, foreign. When I started traveling and I was like, it's the same, right? Like the alcohol, the drug. No. Even no. the water is different. Everything, everything is different. Is you different. have to re- take everything into consideration. No, for real. But yeah, no nightmare. No like crazy nightmare band brand brand trips. I feel like all the brand trips are kind of up to the individuals. Like That's true. Some people fuck yeah. around. Some people are there to work. It's kind of random. Mm-hmm. Like some I go on, yeah. I'm like, when I, want a I really trip, care. I'm on my best behavior. No, I'll call you. you. Fucking oh, liar. Are you? No, I really, no, I am. I, I really behave myself. Mm-hmm. It was just funny. Like we don't we, even go on brand trips. <laughs> yeah, we haven't gotten a brand <laughs> deal in like three <laughs> years. Like, tell me about your brand trip. Like, what, tell me about Couldn't these brand trips. I've never, one. I can't name one. <laughs> I, think the, I think the only oh, one we've on. ever had was a happy hour happy with Coachella. Hour. Yeah. I think that was like That's the- a brand trip kind of. That, I mean, that was our that was our first brand trip. That yeah. Zane asking that was just fishing hoping a brand is watching us on that song. <laughs> you ever have I've any never brand, been on one. brand trips? I, I really like, want to experience no, yeah. something like that. <laughs> Starts listing. Hey guys, all the brands. No, Zane, every brand trip we ever went on, we got fucking destroyed. Yeah. And you know what? I just love makeup so much. Oh, like makeup, I wear every day. Wait, what are you talking what about? What is he? T- oh, he's, he's, he's baiting the, the oh, makeup oh, brands. Oh, I just love, I love Tarte and- Tarte. Not Tarte. Not Tarte. Yeah. It's, it's French. I, think we I didn't know it was French. <laughs> tarte. <laughs> tarte. Shrimp Tarte. I'll come as like a janitor or something. That's just enough. Like, just fly me out there. Come on. Put him to work. I'll go somewhere. Get a job. Fuck it. Brand trips used to, I feel like they've changed a lot. Like they've kind of- uh, used to not be as popular. Like it was just kind of like random people going together on trips, you know, like, do you remember like the, when travel videos were like a fucking yeah, thing? Yeah, I, f- I feel like it was more popular back then than now. Yeah. I feel like I don't see them a lot now. I feel like they do them now more than ever, but they're not like popular, like how they were back then, like yeah. how you're saying. Cause it's too organized into like, people know they're like, that's a fucking brand trip. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not like organic. It's like an eye roll, like yeah. a bunch of friends going together having a good time and then as soon as like all these companies bring all these girls that hate each other in the same <laughs> fucking room and trip it's not organic, <laughs> not yeah. organic. Right. That's <laughs> like 25 influencer girls okay in like mexico for a week and see what fucking happens you don't want to be there i would love to be a fly on <laughs> i would be in the corner the whole time yeah. Yeah. it's not going to be a good representation for oh the brand i'll tell God. you that much this is not an accurate representation, representation. <laughs> like every bitch is like taking pictures by herself in like the one available corner that has like no oh, <laughs> no oh. come Come on. Mm-mm. I'm like, guys, can we like take a group picture? Like group TikTok? There's a better way they can, there's a better way brands can do it. I like just Or you just pick, like let people pick who they want to bring. Yeah. Like when they're like, make no, it a smaller group. Just you and only you by yourself. I'm like, obviously I'm not gonna fucking go. <laughs> like, what are you Come trying on. to do? No one wants to go anywhere by themselves. But I did true. that for a long time actually. Like Two and a half years. I like traveled by myself. Oh yeah, so you'd be used to. Are you gonna start it. throwing uh, smoke roses branded trips for people? Beauty and pain, yeah. Yeah, there I'm you gonna go. do it right because I love brand trips. Used to love brand trips. I went on like some of the best ones. Like I feel like early influencer stuff was like brands and people didn't really have a negative reputation or connotation. So they like <laughs> we're just trusting. It's like you want to stay at this hotel. For free for three nights for one post, sure. Like there was no like it was just like sure we'll take whatever you have to offer. So yeah. I just got to stay like the coolest places and do like the coolest shit, and I would love to bring those back because now it's like super organized and just get friends together. Like I remember seeing like Hannah Stocking and Lele Pons and like all these people like in Hawaii together, like, yeah, just hanging out. But it was a brand trip, and you would never know. There's some of those some of those like people that go on these shows. You never know. It's like. They do it good. They do it really good. That's the goal. It's just supposed to be like, you know, like a organic brand deal, but they're just so intense about it now. I don't know. Whenever I throw a brand trip, I'll let you guys know. We want to see them five hashtags. (laughs) 11.
seven stories a day. <laughs> if anyone still asks you hashtags, what are you doing? There has to be something we don't know. Stop, There's no. got to be something guys, we Guys, comment don't below know. if no, you're clicking don't. the hashtags. <laughs> no one's clicking no one. the hashtags. But oh I, think, my gosh. I think that hashtags are the only way brands can see analytics. analytics. Yeah. But still, but you still we'll, have to click the hashtag. We will send hashtag. it to you. If, if, a, if a brand asks you guys to do hashtags, do you do Red it? flag. I, no, that's actually the... the like If a brand asks us to do anything, we'll do it. <laughs> for the bag, no. <laughs> we'll God. take what we can We'll get. do it for free. You'd be surprised. <laughs> what is, I, I don't even remember what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> That's great though, because you're just doing your own hey, shit. It's fun. It's but nice. doesn't, it help, doesn't it help them keep track of all the posts of the campaign yeah. though? Right? It does, but... Like, There's, just fucking look just up save everyone's it. page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just save it on they your don't get desktop. It. Have somebody Copy manually and search. paste the link to you. Like, that's so much easier. Yeah, so bad. Because honestly, like me, when I scroll through my phone, when I see a post and I see hashtags, I scroll. I, I don't even like engage with it. You just, you just don't feel like engaging because you see 18 hashtags. It's just unattractive. And they're like seven back to back. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, Have you guys traveled a lot? We, we actually yes, don't Yes and all. no. We should. I wish we Egypt, could Dubai, Amsterdam. Uh, That's pretty solid. Some people have just never even like been on an airplane. Like a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, damn. Like people like are just so uncomfortable to get out of their comfort zone. Like mm -hmm. the thought of like flying and staying in a hotel. It's like, oh, it's not my bed. It's not like so many people haven't even been out of the country. So That's I true, consider right. even that like. Like you've been to Amsterdam? Mm -hmm. but <laughs> <laughs> Most times I feel like hotel beds are nicer than mine. Yeah. I, I don't want to oh, no, leave I'm always hotel. checking yeah. the pillows. I'm like, this is a nice do brand. You, I want to go oh back and God. buy these. Do you do bed bug checks? Uh, oh, what? never. Oh, not really. Never. I don't, I'm, usually I've really? never stayed in a place where I- Not where I'm hesitations. staying at, baby. How do you do that? They're like, they hide in the seams. Just add to my list of anxieties. <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually like- I only I it? only checked at that one place we stayed at that looked like a jungle cave. And we oh, brought, yeah, we yeah, brought yeah. Uh, black lights to check it out too. Cause it looked like somewhere like that- porno has been filmed It, there. it was yeah. disgusting. It was the only place available. It was actually right after that upside down bathroom, remember? Yeah. <laughs> Same Where week. was this at? It's that in was... Idle. What the frig is it called? <laughs> Idle, I, Idlewild was that one. Idlewild. But oh, oh, that one was Pioneer over- Town. Pioneer Town. Oh, well, oh yeah, I would check my bed too if I was, it was called Pioneer, Pioneer Town. Town. <laughs> Them bugs been there for a yeah. minute. Oh, it's fun, live a little. Fucking yeah, well, yeah we travel. Yeah, yeah I just, a, I I've just, been to Pioneer Town. It just hit me the places that you like to say, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'll double check. My bed. You know There's like a musket under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> So you know what I told stupid. Heat this morning? We have a couple like t like small like motels down the block, and I was like, let's walk so far that we get tired that we check into the nearest <laughs> hotel, Hell no. and then we wake up and come back. Come on, it's fun. Did, he, did we tell you about the time we stayed at that motel down the street? You fucking hairs. You all live a little <laughs> all over the bay. Yeah, and that's why my yes. immune system is top notch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that one place I stayed in had crusted Fruit Loops dried <laughs> into, <laughs> into Wait, the comforter. I'm not making that's this not shit up. That bad. <laughs> <laughs> It was Zane, Zane, later, no, no, no. Zane, it was an entire bowl of Fruit Loops that spilled. The the cleaning person literally went like this on the sheet, bundled it up, threw it in the washing machine, and it just sat and cooked into it. So then when they laid it back out, it was it, dude, it, it was smelled like a continental breakfast. Oh, I love a good continental. He's like, wow, this room that. smells really nice. It does. It's fruit Loops is great. Fruity aroma. You got the tie dye print. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a yeah. design. Disgusting. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> no, that's not bad. It's that's not literally bad how the commercials were like the fucking smell going into someone's nose. Yeah. Like yeah. carrying you. Uh -huh. You're like, oh, it's Fremories. fucking in my bed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we've, we've stayed at some nasty shit. Yeah, I've stayed at a lot of hotels in my lifetime for show. And <gasps> I've had some weird, I've stayed in, you know, everything from like a fucking, what is it? What's like the shittiest? Is it like a Motel, motel 8? Motel 8. Oh, yeah. yeah, love those. I stayed in Motel 8 in Atlanta. <laughs> that was an experience. Poor Motel oh, 8. No. You know what's been my Ooh. new my new fear lately? Fucking those like just hitting cameras in the rooms. Yeah. I always think about that now. Because all, like, all the TikToks I've seen of people finding that mm -hmm. shit in their room. That's crazy. You don't make cameras are in this room. Just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people, people have like the hidden cameras inside like, like USB chargers. chargers. And they leave yeah. them plugged into the. Oof. We do have list. a lot of cameras in here, just to make you aware. Yeah. Thank you yes. for There's giving me consent. Right here. We didn't tell. Right here. You could buy this at Walmart. <laughs> Walmart? That's, wait, a hidden wait, you can buy that at Walmart? No, yo, that should be illegal. Get, get out of what here. What the fuck? Well, it's like a nanny is. cam. I don't no, care what stupid, it is. Though. You should be able to see the nanny cam. Wait, hold on. So where does the line draw? Like, is it okay if they want to use it for their nannies no. or? 
No. Why is it Listen. at why is it at hip level? It literally in the says why is it smart at ass level? <laughs> <laughs> should nanny I think nannies should know if they're being filmed or not. You're, they're supposed to tell you. Yeah. I've, I've been told. Yeah, I think the illegal part is if you don't tell someone. You, right, right, right. I guess you can have any type of camera you want. That's gonna be my party chair. I'm a, or my party thing. I'm gonna bring those. I'm gonna just start putting it on They gotta glasses. stop putting it in the teddy bear eye. That is like the most <laughs> cliche spot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that bear. That, that it's bear. blinking red. Yeah. Once. Side. A fucking Terminator. Did you ever do you baby do you babysit? Do you babysit? <laughs> Did you ever babysit? Do you ever sit babies? No. Um, I'm the oldest of seven kids, so oh, oh, wow. so oh. babysit all the time. Literally was a mom. Like been there, done that. Whenever I do have kids, I'm ready. Yeah. Do you want to have a lot and keep the tradition? <laughs> no, no. I mean, I love all my siblings so much, but I think I want to have like one or two. Yeah, Not keep for it a while. simple. How old's yeah. the youngest? Four. Wow. wow. Cool. Four, five, seven, eight. Nine, ten, Freaking. eleven, twelve. Eleven. 14, 21, 23. That's incredible. I want to see all of them. Do you have a picture of all of them together? <sighs> no. Uh, <laughs> no, no pictures of any so. of them. I don't know, man. Oh. You, don't, you don't got like a don't family album? <laughs> All my ex boyfriends. Family. <laughs> <laughs> All my ex boyfriends. Let's just. <laughs> oh my god. Who is Charlie Jordan? Who do they think Charlie Jordan is? Let's look that shit up. Who That's is? Funny. It's always the age is like the most popular. Have you guys ever done that? Like you just type in. Yeah, yeah, and like I look up famous, famous birthdays. Is. Oh, I look up everybody's birthdays. Yeah, I'm always like, wait, go to the top. Person? Go to the top. I've done Mariah Amato birthday. It before literally <laughs> says that I'm an erotic photography model. Whoa, That's a photography what? model. But then look, you just look up Charlie Jordan, and it tells you I'm a DJ. That's crazy. Wow. That is crazy. That's the first uh, wow. It still says it. Damn, they changed it. Come on, Google. What the fuck? Who changed that, Google? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Why did you do that? <laughs> Wait, erotic. Photography Excuse model. You. That's just a weird thing. That's weird. erotic. That doesn't even sound right. That has to be an off. Like, that cannot be Google. When's your birthday? What did that say? Uh, March, March 9th. 9th. Oh, oh shit. your number 753 in popular. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Figure it out." Huh? They changed my picture. There's just—that's not even my hair color. It's fine. Zayn, oh, Zayn, nice neck. <laughs> <laughs> Zayn, well, Zayn, hey, that, you're... that neck out here, boy. It looks like you're buried in the sand. Stop, guys, stop! Look, I'm the first one named Zayn. Zayn, you're, you're 943, so don't talk shit to me. Exactly. <laughs> I just thought, you're in the top 1,000. Oh my! What are these pictures? That's how you know they're. Yeah, not he, what's, what's yours? Come I'm on. 1300. Who gives a shit? <laughs> You're an Instagram star. That's Is that exciting. what mine said? Yeah. What? Oh, look at me. Number two. Number two. Number oh, three. Number eight. Number Mar eight. Mariah wrote that shit. She sent that to fucking first Mariah. Number two. Professional dancer and you. acrobatics instructor. Dancer, Get fucked. Dancer born in New York. Number two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, ladies. <laughs> Last name King number seven. Wait, oh never mind. Exactly. Yep, <laughs> yep. It said exactly that on that on the Family Life. Oh wow. Charlie's wow. number one. Do you have any know. celeb crushes? Oh yeah, who's your I'm not even crush? kidding though. Before, before we move on, I'm literally just screenshot of that and send it to my manager. I'm like, fix this. Who hey. the fuck fix changed this? this? No, <laughs> fix it. It's literally said musician for the past year. Like, oh, who and the it fuck changed, changed now? that? Like, literally, I, 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 because I really wanted it to be changed to like music stuff. So I like. Push for that forever. Yeah, let's go. Let's Even go to when Google you just, when you just searched my name, it said YouTuber, and then it says erotic photography model. Like that doesn't even that's not even a fucking title. Like who the fuck? Would that be? Yeah, right. <laughs> Like I photography <laughs> model, it would just be model, like photography model. Let's get model? Judge Judy on, the, on this case. Model. I'm upset. And why erotic? Right. I don't. I erotic. don't know, man. That's like. Is there something you're not telling us? I erotic mean... just sounds like old school porn. I mean, like it, it, I mean, it is. No, the you're definition of exotic. Wait, the, no, the definition erotic. of erotic, oh, erotic is sexual, is like sexual content, oh, right? Really? But it just seems like yeah. a word that. Oh, that's terrible. Erotic. Relating to pretending to arouse Arose sexual, sexual desire. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, she's not erotic. Mine, Thank you. She's a DJ. Does mine say erotic? Erotic? Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm an erotic may DJ. <laughs> exactly. Maybe they're saying <laughs> your music. At least. The least they can do. Erotic maybe DJ. There's, maybe they think, they're saying that your music gives erotic pleasure to people. You know, it says if that's what they're photography saying, model. we can leave oh, it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Eroticism. Jeez. Where'd he go? Eroticism? <laughs> he just got I thought he just doesn't say anything. Ero he said, gotta go. Hey, bad baby. Yeah. Oh, heard bad baby. She just posted this on her Instagram page. <laughs> that she's made $50 million on her OnlyFans in the past like six months. That's gross. That's insane. <laughs> Literally a child. And I hope everyone who has. That is absurd. It. She posted on her Instagram and the caption bad. was cry about it, bitch. <laughs> 
That's like like the, uh, I can't comprehend that That's much money. Bananas. What, like I want to see bank statements. No. <laughs> Show me like, deposits. That's crazy. You I know tell, 25 I, mil is going to taxes. Okay, but well, look, that's what I'm saying. So I tell everyone this, like that screenshot. Wait, that's from April 1st to the 25th? Yes. I thought it was her oh, no, entire time. No, no, no. no, April 1st to the 25th, I think. Oh, is oh, it's a million. year, a how, year. How old is she? Okay, she made that in oh, a year. Oh, She's okay. 18. Jesus. Now. Wow. But those screenshots, a lot of people post those screenshots and what people aren't taking into account is that OnlyFans, the platform takes 20% automatically. So 20% of that is gone. And then whoever is her management is also taking 20%. So 40% of that is gone. Taxes or, takes and another. And then taxes is like fucking crazy. Wait, so they show that and then they take 20% on top of it? Damn. You see, I don't want to see that. I, I, I don't want to see the full amount. I want you to take the percentage out and then send it. I just like, want to see some yeah. commas though. I'm looking at the number and I was like, oh, big number. <laughs> yeah. I, I, like, I have to work uh -huh, backwards. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, I was like, I, I was no like, no idea put, what like, that number fingers. was. Because most people just don't get to is the comma, in, so they don't need to put it in. Some, did you send it in the group chat today and nobody was answering because nobody could read the read damn the numbers. number ever? And then finally someone was like, what am I looking? And then Corona goes, <laughs> Corona goes rookie numbers. <laughs> she crushes it, yeah. yeah. Crushes it. Yo, I ask she's, her for money every day. She's sick. Every day I'm just like, hey, Corona, keep. <laughs> Please give me money. <laughs> Please pay. Please take, just take me on a brand trip. Oh my God. That's still so much money. That's absurd. <laughs> That's oh my before God. taxes. And maybe I'll be in her will. Wait, I think Corinna <laughs> should do a branded trip for her OnlyFans page. We all go on a branded Family. trip to promote Corinna. I think that'd be incredible. We're gonna start doing ad reads for her. Are you serious? Yeah, we want to. You think our audience is a good target <laughs> audience for Corinna's OnlyFans? I, I don't know, we'll see. Elon, uh, Elon Musk uh, bought Twitter. Elon yeah. Musk bought Twitter. It's official? Yeah, official Yikes. today. Official today, that's insane. $40 billion. <laughs> Do you think it'll it's, be like in history books that like Twitter affected so many like, I feel like a big part of the reason Donald Trump <laughs> got so much attention for that election was just because of Twitter and like how much it affects everything. Uh, like 100%. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, 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 I cannot wait to see what he does with the platform because it, I mean, he, it's his now and he can do whatever Twitter he wants. I haven't in years. I haven't no. either, but yeah, I'm going to be I going on every day well, just man. to see what he does. Wait, none of you guys use Twitter? Uh -uh. No. That makes me feel really. better. Yeah. Because everyone's like on that shit. And I'm like, why? Yeah. I, cannot, I, just, I can't a lot stand of negativity it. on there. It's just I don't not like fun it. anymore. It used to be funny. It yeah, used to be really, really funny. funny. Now it's too like either political or. Yeah. It's I'm just, just not, not It's not a good time. Yeah. It's just not a good time. The only time I go on Twitter is if I like think there's an earthquake and I'm like, yeah. I do that too. Los Angeles earthquake. And then Bro, as up. soon as it happens, I'll wait 10 <laughs> seconds. Someone's going to tweet it. And then <laughs> or it's like when Instagram is down, everyone's on Twitter like, yep. is Instagram down? Is, yeah. it, is, it, is it not Just working confirms. for you? That is sick. Twitter is, is my the phone best broken? Place. Should I restart it? No. Yeah. Because okay. they're quick. Twitter's quick. It yeah. is. Wow. That's so funny. Hello. It's like reliable news source for like immediate news. Yeah. Like something that just happened and I need to know right Accident now. on the 101. Yeah, I don't know about, <laughs> I don't know about like that one. Maybe they became less mainstream because like... I feel like I see straight porn on Twitter. There's oh porn. yeah, I see a lot of that. Erotic photography. <laughs> Erotic yeah. photography. Get it right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Twitter is so interesting. It's just everyone complaining. I don't get why he bought it though. Like I don't. He I can. think he uses it all the time, and he likes he I likes use using Twitter, and he can buy it, and he thinks that. Have it you seen holds his engagement? Like power. He owns Twitter at this point. It's fucking. He gets motherfucker. He gets a lot. Two point five three million uh, likes a tweet. That like makes that's sense. his most responsive. So he's like, I love this platform. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He goes, I'm gonna and buy every, it. And everybody knowing that he owns it now, he's just like the king of mm. the platform. Like everyone yeah. just wants it. That's like such a power move. Like, what if I was just like, yeah, I really like Instagram, so like I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> it's yeah. so It's so funny. Like seeing my nearest people. deli. I'm like, I love this deli. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> it's so funny seeing people so angry about it. It's just the funniest thing to like, me. Yeah, I don't get why people care. Like, just it's it, like it, it, like it does not affect you. Please, <laughs> you're still gonna be able to tweet, baby. <laughs> it's it's like, literally okay. Let him do it. It's fine. So angry. People get about so it. worked I think, up. I think I think he's just putting his money into there because yeah. the stock his money market. I don't know. I like it's like stock entertainment for me. I just down. like seeing yeah. him be where he's at and just seeing what it's he does. Yeah, it's yeah, fun. Do you know who the first person was to hit one million followers on Twitter? Oh. Yeah. Who? Ashton Kutcher. No, oh, really. Wow. Yeah. It was a big competition between him and I think CNN. Yeah, it, uh, Karen Spencer was actually like working like with him when it was a big competition to see if he was going to beat CNN. Oh, so there was a competition, so it didn't happen authentically. No, it did. Well, like I don't know. It was yeah. just a big. A lot of the oh, world oh, was like, paying okay, attention okay. to be like the most like followed person on like the fastest. I don't know stream of 
right you know news and stuff that's exciting that's have Kutcher. you seen what he's doing uh organization where it's anti the exploitation of children on the internet and around the world right yeah him and mila kunis um it's like anti-sex trafficking operations like there's a bunch of them there's like operation underground railroad and all these different organizations and they basically just like their full-time job like he literally goes out on missions like there's ex-navy seals that volunteer to go bust sex trafficking Damn. rings wow um, and they talk about how, like, even right now, it, it, more than ever in history, like, child pornography is being traded right now more than it ever has. Because mm -hmm. the internet, the dark web, everything right. is just, like, untrackable, oh, anonymous. Yeah. Like, people will upload, <coughs> not to go dark, but videos of just, like, horrendous things. And these people are watching it. Like, how do we get this child? <laughs> Can't find this child. And, like, they're you're just watching it every day for months. And... These rings, basically, their whole job and what they do is to try to that's amazing help yeah. those kids and it's help Thorn. women yeah. who have been impacted. So it's just it's crazy, but they're they're doing amazing shit. Like that's they awesome. dedicated their whole lives to it, and he's donated like I swear like most of his money that he made from acting into this, which is really cool. That's cool. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah, I'm like yes, like someone who is successful and like did something right. really I, fucking sick with it. He's yeah. a stud. Yeah. yeah, another reason I love couple. him, Hazane. That's sick that he does that though, because I always think about the people who do, like they bust people on Facebook that are messaging people and then they go meet up. Yeah. It's, I love to watch those videos. It's too. so satisfying. Get like get get those motherfuckers. Yeah. What is like, it's like date, Datelines. Um, oh, like with oh. Chris Hansen, Dateline Chris, NBC. Yeah, so it's yeah. like to that. Catch but, a, to catch a predator. Right. It's like that, but they're not like official yet. Mm -hmm. um, That's a risky fucking job though to is. do. It's you scary. can't be like an amateur person. But they, they've been catching like, like politicians like in a bunch of big people and they can't physically do anything or arrest them because they're not like in the position to do that. But they just film the entire thing. Exposing. And exposing. The just exposing. Especially it. people like that. You have to push that shit out. Crazy. Ooh. <laughs> Let the That's internet do their crazy. thing because they're really good at you, it. There should yeah. be someone in LA who starts doing that to people who are influencers. That would be really <laughs> funny. Uh huh. That yeah, would well, be you know what? We should start really something. funny. Amazing. We're just busted. It's like, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> put them up. Imagine out. unfiltered. <laughs> You just bring people on. We invite them here and it's already the set. Like, welcome. <laughs> so what we're, we're, we're doing, doing here? Have Zane, a seat. Zane and Heath undercover. <laughs> yes. There you go. That's That'd funny. so good. Right, you're onto something. I, I'm but it's like paper something. trails from like obscure <laughs> dating apps like Hinge and like. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fuck. Damn. Wait, this it's could like, be good. Do you want to invest? To? Yes, invest. I'll invest I'll before be it exists. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> Why are you looking at Barack Obama? <laughs> Devin, you are looking at the most interesting things on that high? fucking computer. <laughs> <laughs> He's the most followed person on Twitter. What? <laughs> Hundred and thirty. Is he really? Obama's Obama. The most followed well, that makes person. sense. I mean, Twitter was at its peak when he was president. So. Oh, Justin Bieber. But, but, then it, but then when they share the POTUS account, does the handle just switch over and then he still keeps the followers, or do they switch the account? Because when oh, you're the president, you have POTUS. P O T U S. What the fuck is that? POTUS president of the United States. That's the handle. That's like a nice thing to do. That. I don't see Twitter doing really? that. Really? Yeah. P-O-T-U-S. Yeah. POTUS. Oh, so they reset oh, the account. Oh, it goes back to zero. Wait. That's does fair. It really? That's oh. cool, actually, to see huh. if people actually fuck with that president. Right. Wait, there's no way it goes back to zero. That's no, that crazy. makes sense. That makes sense, though. That's insane. Oh, wow. it, that it's able to grow that fast. It just said after Biden transition. But I, oh. so, but do the followers still go over to their personal one if they fuck with them <laughs> yeah they might convert your account into that no, afterwards if they're it all. Clouded, Joe Biden's no. like y'all yeah. can y'all follow me on my second account <laughs> account got hacked at 21 million <laughs> follow my new Twitter, account Twitter won't give me my followers can y'all follow me back <laughs> a friend of mine works for Justin Bieber to this day because in high school when Twitter first started popping off she started the very first fan account for Justin Bieber and it blew up. And that's before it was popular to have like fan pages with like oh. thousands of followers and it blew up and Scooter Braun reached out to her Lit. and said, and she was that's still cool. like a junior in high school. So she moved, she dropped out and moved and she still works with him to this day. That's she, insane. Yeah. Smart move. What, what a good story. Smart, yeah. What, what did they have her do? Like she's still socials? behind social media. So she'll wow. reach out to influencers now if That's she beautiful. has like Yeah. It's insane. That's cool. sick. Yeah. That's like literally getting your dream job. <laughs> Yeah. That's so cool. I keep getting distracted by this TV. Yeah. <laughs> I know. We are. I know. No, my no, my head great. the whole time is just this. <laughs> well, Charlie, you're pretty exceptional. 
you you've achieved a, a lot. lot of really amazing things for someone so young your age. And Thank you, you smoke weed during it. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, Do it I all when you're high. You. I love that shit. Yeah, I definitely love working. That's for sure. I think we all have that in common. Mm -hmm. But I love what I do. That's why like I just and, and, you know, L.A. can be super distracting. I feel like finding yeah. a good crowd out here and the right people was, like, a huge part of Absolutely. what I do. And, like, there's so many people, my team and, like, everyone in the back, and that helps so much. Like, I've found the best people, and I'm so thankful for everyone that has helped me. Because, yeah, I'm fucking 23 and, like, just bought my first house. Like, that's so crazy that to me. <laughs> Thank you. You're killing it. Appreciate it. But I really am serious. You guys have to come out. You said you've been to... A show in Vegas already? Yes, we. Uh, it was, it the, was for after. It was the, the after club, party right? thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to come to like the club. It's so. Oh fun. yeah, no, no, or Lollapalooza. Definitely. But yeah, I'm gonna be playing. Um, I'm literally booked out till December. All my dates are always on my Instagram. So, right, so check it out. Make sure we, yeah. we hop on a show. We're, we're booked out too, so we'll yeah. see. We'll can we? Can we do please a little? Check. <laughs> you, well, you can have your manager reach out to my manager. And we'll like coordinate a date. <laughs> no, the whole thing. Yeah. Do, you yeah. do you think we're able to perform on stage for your set? I will literally. Like, no, you can, don't can, want, can we no, like no, synchronize? I'll give like, you the mic. No, Zane's don't. the person that will knock your shit over. <laughs> well, come on. I've never knocked. At Dylan Francis, over. you're standing on the. Yeah, the only thing I knocked over was my ass. Zane, you showed your ass at the show and you got ripped off the stage. Okay, that was. A mistake, and that will never happen again. That he was pulled his pants down. <laughs> he and they're like public nudity. Why are that you hitting that me? That was a secret. Your You're not ass. supposed to share that. Promise. Zane, everybody <laughs> posted. I did something illegal. That was what was that? That was indecent. indecent. That indecent. was an exposure. That was an erotic photography. Yeah, that was like erotic. <laughs> erotic, erotic DJ performer. It was performance art. <laughs> erotic DJ performer. I love Pro that. Promise you'll do it at my show. Oh, 100 percent. No. Actually, that's really bad. I didn't realize how bad it was until I was like, oh, everybody <laughs> watching. Oh my oh god, god. <laughs> the hair! Because they have this view. Down <laughs> yeah. <there. laughs> Oh, oh shit! Right, right, Thank well, you again for coming on. That was Thank great. Thank you guys so much. Of course. Well, guys, make sure to check out her um, her jewelry line. It's called Pain and Tank. Pain and Tank. Pain, <laughs> pain and Tank. Pain and Tall. <laughs> Beauty and Pain. Beauty and Pain. And Fox, Smoke sorry. Roses. And Smoke Roses. Her weed. Her weed company. Oh my pain god. And, what were you gonna say? <laughs> pain and Tank. Pain and Tank. <laughs> We this is why we will never do a live show. We can't do live. This is it's embarrassing. Pain and Tain. Guys, go check out Pain and Tain. Smoke Roses. Pain and Tain. We'll see you guys oh, next time on Unfiltered. All right. All right. We love you guys. All right. Bye, thank bye. you. Bye. bye.